Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Hey, everybody! Let's go! No, no, you can't do it like that. Let's go! It is a mediocre time of Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. Tom. Samantha, our producer's here. Hello, Sam. Hey! Old got a disease is on the couch. Jesus. Hang on, I'm logging into Twitch. <laughs> Seth Petrozelli is here. I believe right. we're going to touch base with Ross out firing the fireworks at Pyro Spot. But yeah, welcome yeah. to the show, everybody. We're glad to have you. We're, we got one foot in the fireworks. Yep. Uh, Fourth of July weekend. I hope you guys uh, have a good one. Um, we got some new villain merch on our website. And when I say villain, it's a villain Tom and Dan logo. It's a collab. That's it's what a, you got to say. That's what the kids say, Tom. A collab. Um, but they do that thing where they're like, yo, son, today we're dropping a small collab with villain. And it's T and D X villain. Yeah. You know how they go. do that? They always, it's just, yeah, it's like T D X villain. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a small run. LFG, so son. It will be sold out, but there's <laughs> coffee. What else have we got, Sam? All right. So we have the most uh, mishmashy, why did we do these things <laughs> of all time? It's like, let's do coffee and a crop top. Two bits. <laughs> we got the villain T and D collaboration beach tip touch uh, men's shirt. We also have that in a men's black tank top. We also have it in a ladies crop top and as well as youth shirts. We have kids shirts now. Did you guys know that? Oh, oh, oh I, I got to get one of those for Maisie because yeah, yeah. she yeah. loves her um, villain shirt. We also have the uh, beach tip touch hat. That's a khaki hat that t- uh, Dan has right there. I'm Dan. And we also have coffee. <laughs> yep. Because um, uh, villain makes some good coffee. Yeah, they do make great coffee. They do. Um, so all that is up at uh, tomanddan.com. And like I said, uh, there's not much of it. So uh, small runs. If you do yeah. want it, uh, grab it now. Um, we also have our BDM beach party coming up in September. Um, so if you want to be invited to that, it's BDM. What only. are we doing? Um, are we doing the well, Camel Girl? Well, have we talk this out. What are we doing? We, Are we uh, doing the camel girl? We talked this out. And I heard you I'm making noises. When, when I mentioned huh. July 4th, I heard you making noises. Uh, and I, I know it's going to happen. No, right? I have something to say to you, sir, because okay. I am on your side. Okay, but somebody else isn't on my side. Abs- I got two people against me. Tom and Crystal are fighting me hard, oh, and they don't want to drop. I was like, I looked, at I looked right at Sam. I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm trying no. to get them to go. No, Sam's on board. Really? Sam's on our team. The, it's these dudes. What's that the don't... matter with you? What, no, I don't, don't want to hide you. Bring I my look, kids. I got friends. I don't Who cares? Them. I got You're other karate nerds bringing their kids. You fuck up his announcements. You're ruining the show. He's gonna get real mad at me later. He's got to do his announcements. That's fine. I told him it was family friendly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look what I've done. Look oh, yeah, what we, I've done. We also have the BDM Secret Knowledge 2.0 shirt and the Dad Jokes Beer Release shirt. We still have a few of those left. The Secret well. Knowledge 2.0 shirt's my new favorite shirt. That's my absolutely my new favorite shirt. I love that shirt. It's that. It's the shirt that our guest has on, but it's also oh. filled in, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Full color. And yeah. our featured item of the week is the 90s purple stacked logo. Goes great for Orlando City. Yeah, matches. if you're into the Orlando City. Boy, they better step it up. Come on, City. Good Lord. Well, Although, they, they good victory. Good victory with Lamar Hunt Open Cup. That was good. Um, and sorry, uh, about it. no, that's fine. We uh, and then subscribe to become a BDM if you want to be invited to the BDM Beach Party. That's the only way uh, you know you could be invited is if you're a BDM. Correct. Um, and we got a a, a meetup at Cafe Da Vinci's on the 29th, July 29th. Uh, yes. Little strangers uh, playing, and uh, it's a free show. Yeah, it's a Which free is show. Nuts. Yeah, yeah, it is. You nuts. might want to double check that because everyone every time I tell someone I it's free, they're you know like, what I like, "Are you sure?" It. I'm like, "That's what Tom told me." You so maybe I, not. Here's what I, I like. Know. About oh, our show. Here's um, what I like about on. our show. We say things are free without even knowing, and we double down. We're <laughs> yeah, like, fuck yeah, yeah it's free. Head no, on out there. They said it to me. Okay. Um, 
I mean, you were saying I virtually. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ninety-eight yeah. percent. It's the mosquito digs. It's uh, you know, always it, yeah. leave perfectly too. fine. It's perfectly <laughs> fine. Yeah. 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 It's like just show up, tell them it's perfectly fine. Mosquito nicks. <laughs> so, uh, Seth, you mm-hmm. have your marijuana recommendation, correct? I, or did you let it lapse? I let it, I let it lapse. No, oh, 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 so so I want to get. It. It. I want to get a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can have, yeah, you can have a gun. This is <laughs> Florida. Well, I want to conceal carry. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can have that too. Everybody, yeah, no everybody, everybody has nothing. both. Okay, okay. Yeah. but not a real one. Just one of those ones that say "pop bang." It After just, last week's story, you are the last person that should <laughs> get a gun. You're <laughs> Mr. Break the Shot Glass. I'll have to agree <laughs> with that statement. Yeah, that was a terrifying. I had a nightmare about that. I was one of the shot glasses. It was the worst time to let it run out because my dad's been in town for my family. Family and stuff like that, and he's been wanting weed left and right. So yeah. I'm like, is he an old hippie? Is he an old hippie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's like, hey, give me some fucking weed. He's you, like, can you, you make me down in the basement working on the pipes all the time? He's like, next time, can you get me something a little? Uh, I took two tokes and I saw God last time, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I need to just ease up. <laughs> like, just want to preface: right. we do not condone sharing your oh, yeah, 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 medical yeah. marijuana <laughs> with yeah, anyone yeah. that is not uh, under he's your. He's in a state where you know what, Sam? I don't care anymore because because it's a something goes, Tom. Well, we know this was coming okay. and, hey we're without a medical marijuana partner right now so That's say true. your say your authentic truth uh, tom man right. so you know when a child shows you a magic <laughs> trick you have to pretend to be shocked or I surprised never do. Or <laughs> but, <laughs> but, i but, never pull punches with kids <laughs> I, I go that sucks That's stupid you know, i know so <laughs> it's like a kid shows you a magic trick you're like oh wow you know like and then after when they a kid sh- shows me anything i, I <laughs> fake pretend <laughs> like i give a shit yeah 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 and, but then it <laughs> after a while <laughs> you it's all trash. You can't pretend anymore. No. Right? And yeah. that's how these goddamn medical marijuana doctor appointments have gone for me. Are you, are I'm you done mean, pretending <laughs> because point. I can't breaking do it point. anymore. <laughs> and because at for, and and this goes to show you how uh, lazy and uh, uh, the greedy I am uh, because oh wow okay or, uh, so I'll, you're just talking about the good stuff well because before this I would have told you I was like I'll do whatever it takes for you to bring medical marijuana to Florida like I because I, I a dick man no well, because I'll <laughs> I'll go to the appointments I'll uh, you know pretend to be sick I'll <laughs> do this song and dance yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll do I'll go to the thing I I'll sit there I'll I'll have, it was a pain in the ass I will, four months later I will, I'm, I'm as, fine as the person on the show who has had their recommendation the longest I have. Uh, I went in there with the paperwork, and I did the first appointment. I did yeah, yeah. limp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. I limp. Oh, you limp. <laughs> you I, I leaned. Uh, my hip is always a little wonky uh, yeah, from yeah. soccer because of my knee. But way. as I yeah. came in, I I'll did get a, the X-rays. Yeah, I did a yeah. little. I did a little because I didn't want to. <laughs> Sam be, got X-rays. I didn't want to be denied. They weren't hers. I mean, oh, <laughs> it had my are. name on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so we're willing to. Uh, this like, looks like a monkey, ma'am. But this this just goes to show you how greedy we all are. Because now I'm like I'm not doing it anymore. Just give it to me. Yeah. Stop all the shit. See. Did you yell that in the? No. I feel like just last week. You were down to do anything, so something mm-hmm. must have happened at this last appointment. Yeah, did no, he touch you? No, no, it's not. No, no, it has, it's just it's phone appointments, right? That's what. No, no, no they stopped no, that. They stopped doing that. Oh, they I would have okay. done well, that. that was the last one I did. You I have didn't to go do back it, to the office like, again. Oh, it's yeah, that's even more annoying. So. Uh, uh, it's not. A, let's be real. It's it, not even an office. It's a room you know, with no, a clipboard exactly. and yeah. two black ladies in it. <laughs> I, can walk, I, can, I can walk there from the jungle. <laughs> yeah, I literally walk yeah, across yeah, yeah, the street yeah. and go there. I'm oh no, there. yours is different. No, the one that oh, we go to is, weird. An, is an old, creepy office building with a, a yeah, yeah. bum that sits surrounded outside. by homeless <laughs> people. And by the way, oh, the homeless, out front the too, homeless yeah. person out front of this place, he knows the code because he always punches it in for me to let me in. He wants you to give him a tip. So it's right. It it gotten i know i've explained it before but this is ridiculous okay so you get you go to it i'll explain to the people who you haven't got through this and there's two black ladies you, in it they're really nice you, and they say hey the doctor will be with you in a minute you w-. the receptionist is sitting at what looks like a child's desk it's and so she's small hot cheetos. <laughs> yeah. and, and her play, fingers play are dusty cheetos. and then there's some <laughs> computer paper that she's jotted some names yeah. down she's just texting her friends and yeah. and then there's five chairs in there and a coffee table in what looks like an old business office and room they're playing that, Easy listening music. Old, like, old, like ugly all. carpet. The well, they the walls not painted. They didn't yeah. even bother, and I noticed this because this time I'm so mad that I have to go through this bullshit <laughs> that uh, I'm sort of looking around. Yeah, to, me too. Because, the artwork and the coupons yeah, and, everywhere. And the posters on the wall <laughs> yeah. and yeah. stuff because, because it's. I'm not, they <laughs> I was just, there for like fucking 45 minutes. 
because they some bitch was running late and they made me wait until she showed up 30 minutes late for her appointment so oh, she could go no. before See, me I was, oh my lady will take me early i'm going to a different office i was time. there three minutes to this time so oh, like, wow. uh, in my actual appointment but it, it went oh, fast bats, bats didn't want to chit chat with you there was no one no they i didn't weigh you this time they always weigh me they just asked me my weight weigh me. You. why do they weigh you? i don't know i think it's to shame me i think they're like put the pig man on the scale <laughs> yeah, make him short. sweat make that pig sweat but again i'm like why the fuck are you doing this to me why i'm losing Losing weight. I'm doing good, man. No, I'm look, like, you look I, thinner. When what? I'm ca- <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, dude. Well, your shirt's tighter, so I see yeah, over you, your nipple now. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, I got titties. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm losing my titties. What, you know, but, you know, I'm working. I'm working. What are you weighing me for? Yeah, why, why are you, are you me? taking it's my blood pressure? Shame me. This is just a song a and song, dance. A song. Get, I know, you know, we're all adults so just here. Shut the door for thirty just seconds and then give open me the my door. Yeah, drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, could it be? Is there any like uh, under, uh, undercover type things going into making sure they're doing it correctly? You think? Are they, they afraid of that? No, I, I maybe, <laughs> but I doubt it. I I doubt bet. It. It, okay, it's okay. just. I mean, because the, I bet you there's no nothing written down. You have to take the pr- patient's blood saying, pressure yeah. or whatever. It's just because we all started this facade of medical marijuana. It's for medical conditions, uh, but now it's. It's worn off, I'm telling you, to the point where we all know, everybody knows, it's just a way for uh, Florida to get their money and the, these people to sell drugs. Sure. Uh, and I say drugs, but it's just, they sell THC and we all go through this rigmarole to get it, just make it recreational yeah. and stop all this bullshit. So, okay. uh, they, I'm in there and then I, I'm sitting there and they're like, call me to the first nurse. I say nurse, it's just a lady. <laughs> yeah, don't say <laughs> that. They're really nice though i, like, I mean i like them they're really nice. i always chirp well, them up good too i'm well, like you having a good she's day a de- she's a desk lady i'm <laughs> calling her the, well no there's the desk lady and then there's the nurse and oh, then I, the I just doctor. got the one they no. got they got rid of the desk lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh really no, no i, I went in there's a first lady yeah. is very sweet i chirp her a little the bit the quote I, nurse peeked yeah. out and said i'll be with you in a you know what i you know what i you know what's always a bad sign <laughs> You know, it's always a bad Fucking sign. Fucking Amazon wanted me to Nurse. sign for their packages there like I worked there. It's a bad sign when you <laughs> walk in and it's just a blank sheet of paper and then they just drew a line at the top and you write your name. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's the, not even like a real form. There's hmm. scuffs all over the walls yeah, yeah, yeah. from the last yeah. people that... Uh, yeah, it was never painted. Were, yeah. Yeah. Because they were like, we don't need to paint it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows. And so then, <laughs> and then you could tell like they were given some promotional... Like propaganda from other like <laughs> dispensaries, yeah. so to hang on the wall, they put frames on them. They're yeah. like the chairs never match. They're all from yeah, yeah, yeah. The chairs like a are different chairs. Of a, it's a poster of a weed bud. Like somebody put it in paint and then stamped it. Yeah, yeah. It's like artsy weed bud. And then yeah, exactly. So I'm in there, and then the lady, which I'm calling the nurse. The second at, one or the first one? The Reception second one. or nurse? I'm, I'm in nurse, and okay. then she, she's sweet. And then she she's, usually weighs me and takes my blood pressure. And then she has yeah, yeah, but she didn't weigh me she's like what's your weight and i told her something you know absurd i'm like 130 <laughs> and it didn't even bother, like Wait. never mattered remember i i did you it when your weight i did it, when it, doesn't, you, it doesn't matter they're just it's uh, a, see i would be worried about that like, well maybe the dose he's gonna give me like well, a remember it's a child's magic trick <laughs> I, <laughs> said that they, oh, nothing matters oh, i fell, fell for it <laughs> i got mine when you didn't need you couldn't do it online but i remember they took my temperature the first time like it was like a oh, legitimate like, like the first time I went oh, that's it was waiting. like uh, it was like going <laughs> to a regular doctor's I, yeah, visit, yeah. you know. Uh, this time when she puts the CVS uh cuff. blood tr- pressure cuff, uh, cuff on me and she didn't even look at the number. Yeah. Like it, it's just <laughs> It's like one of those kids ones that it just doesn't, spins. It just <laughs> <laughs> this is a new thing. She, she asked me, uh, have you had trouble sleeping? And then I thought it was a trick because I was like, oh. they're uh, a new <laughs> question. Uh, yeah. sleep question. I didn't see this in my, and, uh, and my then, notes. And then I'm like, yes, of course I do <laughs> because I, I'm maybe, uh, yeah. the, you know, I want to get my weed. And then she's like, well, we have these sample gummies. And they handed me what? a package of Hold CBD gummies. I, didn't get, I, didn't I literally them. went like two weeks ago. I didn't get these gummies. I didn't get and, then, nothing. and then I'm like, wait, are you selling drugs? <laughs> like, they're, yes, look, a side hustle. They, yeah. Look at this. Look at what they gave me. Oh, uh, those are nice. They gave me a package mm. of CBD gummies. The at the doctor, <laughs> oh and, they're, my God. and they're like, seen the doctor. Yeah, he's just they're, and they're and they're like, if these work, you can come back to us directly. <laughs> like, you don't even need a license. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what it seemed like. I was like, what is this? If these works, I sell them out of my Centra. <laughs> like I'm like, they're okay. Do, they're doing it now. So then I go into the quote unquote doctor's office, uh, and. 
He's a doctor. The doctor will be right with you. Like I used to be a terrestrial <laughs> radio producer. <laughs> and the, it, technically, I learned how to do it once. Yeah. And I was real bad at it. Um, but no formal training. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I imagine this doctor is. No offense to him. In the room. <laughs> and you do appreciate the fact that he gives you the <laughs> exactly, no, no, yeah, I of appreciate course, everything yeah. you do. Yeah. But please, let's just do this over the phone or just let me pay the, the money. I... I Listen, I want you, you know to get what, paid. You know what I'll make pay more the sense. money. I just don't want to go there. It would anymore. actually make more sense if you just reverse roles and you became yeah, the duck. Yeah, because this is all just a song. No, none of this is for anything. We all know. No, it is. It's to get your weed. You, but you get what they're. They could just give it to me, and then we don't have to do the blood pressure. And then this is the worst. So I'm sitting in the office. And then I look over to my left, and I'm like, Oh, there's another person <laughs> dead on the floor. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> He's rolled up in the carpet. There's a full chiropractor table yeah in the office with like and well, i think sh- sam mentioned this yeah. before yeah, they shoot those dirty uh massage videos in there uh <laughs> well, the lunch break i i looked at it and then i st- and then as the guy is just typing hitting yes to all my <laughs> things you know because <laughs> I, all you hear i'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just sitting there in silence, yeah. and I'm like, Same. you know, I don't even have to be here. But anyway, so I'm looking at the chiropractor. He also I- looks like Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. Moff Gideon didn't have a computer. He just had a yellow right. notepad. He's, He's a poor does. man's Moff Gideon. He looks, he looks like, like Moff Gideon. Gideon. That guy's terrifying to me. <laughs> that guy is fucking terrifying well, to I'm me. I'm trying to be nice to him. He, so I, I would weed. be too. I'd be nice to Moff Gideon. That he guy's scary as fuck. He does look like Bobo Gideon. So, But the chiropractor table, I started thinking about why that's in there. because You know the first time that I had him i was like oh no yeah it's happening he gonna, t- he gonna touch your titties i got yeah. i got bad uh, yep, so then, bad luck with massages gonna start oiling your, your hair <laughs> I, oh, I was so fucking nervous i, I think and then i've uh, thought about this for a minute i think it might be a situation where he thought he's like what medical stuff do i have in my garage <laughs> and yeah, then he just put it there because i'm looking at the there was nothing else yeah, yeah. it's he, like a mom he, doing an etsy room they're he, like what do we need does he, have a stethoscope? he does have a stethoscope, yeah, he does. He does a stethoscope. Yeah. that's it and the, the, the table oh, and the stethoscope there is a poster of what the, uh, the anatomy of a frog no or the he, right? sigmund freud he, human cannabinoid system oh yeah the and then there's little system. dots cannabinoid. and then it's like <laughs> sponsored by truly <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. it's like move posters yeah, there'll like, be like a picture of a man get... and he's like got green on his tongue that's to signify him taking green right yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it makes his whole body turn blue with like happy he's giving a thumbs up but, but it's, it's a harvest yeah but it's all given yeah. to him by it's all propaganda it, yeah, it might as well just be a poster with you know some sort of other military figure on it so then I'm looking at the stethoscope around his neck and I'm like please Please don't do this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> because I'm like, I'm like, just hit enter and let me get the fuck yeah. out of here. It's better for you. I don't mind even but paying you. Found a murmur? I'll pay you from home. What if he found a murmur? I'll pay you, you anything not to do wants, this. Anyone <laughs> that wants, you're a logical man. Anyone that wants to listen to your heart, you should let them because they could find a murmur. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm sitting he there. found a murmur? And I'm looking at his stethoscope, and I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm sitting there quiet. I'm like, I'm not gonna. Uh, I want to get out of here as fast yep, as possible. I did the same fucking and thing. I'm like, I, I'm just gonna say, oh, yeah, chirp, yep. my lady, and she was telling me the craziest I shit you've ever shit. heard. Because <laughs> yeah. I was chirping. Don't my talk lady. to him. I already had to sit there for this other bitch that was late, and then she went in there and chirped it up crazy. I'm like, my lady took a call. I want to go in there and rip her fucking hair my out. My doctor took Sorry. a call from her son's school and then yelled at them oh about. Uh, I, I can't even tell you what she said. <laughs> it's, it's too horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I. Can't I can't even oh, tell you what she said. Oh, she was and sorry. I sat there like a pussy and didn't say a word because I like much like Tom, I just wanted my weed. Oh, I was so afraid she was gonna take it away if I called into question her science. They're shedding <laughs> the vaccine yeah. on my show. Yeah, that's what she said. Anyway, uh so I'm looking at the, steth- the stethoscope around his neck. I'm like, no, don't do this. Uh, why? Because again, it's I'm gonna have to pretend like I'm watching a kid a child's magic. Do you yeah, take yeah. the breath? Uh, no, if he goes, oh, deep breath. Deep breath in. So he's know? he hits enter enough where imagine he finished and now he's at the point where we have to pretend Turn your head and like this is an actual medical exam which uh again this is not a medical exam no. there, and i'll prove that it's not <laughs> by this so he walks over to me i'm like oh he's doing it he, he's like i'm gonna listen to your chest now i'm like okay yeah, and he held your breath see if you need weed you did you I, your breath? I did not breathe that's awesome <laughs> no. i sat there and i held my breath the oh, entire no. time I, 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 didn't I, notice i wish didn't you would have passed out <laughs> he's, like, he's like oh my god i found a murmur he he's dead he never noticed I, 
Because he is just going through the motions you just of this the ball. Did he have the, the stethoscope on he or he did he have it on his head? No, he put and it on his ear. Never <laughs> noticed I wasn't even breathing. He just put it in his ears. And then he went and sat back down. And he's like, thank very you. Good. And then my, <laughs> very no, good. Very good. I did have to get out of He probably thought the weed was working really good. He's like, oh, this shit fucking works. No, he's just going. This is just a facade for him to get 75 bucks. He didn't say a word about it. No. It, like, I held my breath the entire time he was like. I'm surprised you did this because what if he did call you out? Yeah. And what what would you said, have done? Or he said, said, why are you holding your breath? Right. I was holding a fart. No, I, uh, I would just be like, oh, sorry, I didn't notice. I, was, <laughs> 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 I didn't notice I wasn't breathing. <laughs> this, Sometimes that happens. Listen, I can tell when people are checked out. I know. <laughs> like, uh, you, uh, yes, uh, you can. Hey, well. because I'm checked out most <laughs> of the time. So <laughs> I, when I see someone else is checked you out. You went at the end of the day, too. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. Like this guy. He was ready to get the hell out of yeah, there. not a bad idea to get last appointment. You know that's you know yeah. what? Sometimes you surprise me. Listen, he's checked out where because this is all he knows. He complains to his wife about yeah. this. So like he's like, I gotta go through this bullshit every time. I'm I'm just waiting to find the doctor that just tells me just don't even come. <laughs> I just I'll hit enter. How, How many that guys getting paid? Uh, you know I don't know. You think he's like a doctor pay or is it like? Well, okay. It there, can't be. Let's talk about it, this anymore. It just can't yeah. be. Because Until I, we have another uh, medical marijuana partner, and then uh, we can uh, talk about it. You know what? It <laughs> Actually, no one even cares. They don't even care. They, I, no, they don't care. At, at the beginning, okay, I'll, let's talk well, about the truth. Well, they never look like, okay. <laughs> let's tell the goddamn okay, truth. Okay, there's yeah. doctors that I go to, and they look like doctors, and they do doctor things, and they get in doctor cars. It's a stereotype doctor, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Like, when I go to my cardiologist, like, I know him. He's got a look. He's got a smell, even. You know, there's a cologne he wears, there's a presentation. Th these people, I'm not, no disrespect, but it's not the same. It's like you mm. went to the back of a, p a packed plane and you're like, uh, oh, you're like, there's a medical emergency. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, you I know, need who's an off-duty doctor in their pajamas, please. <laughs> and they're like, I, that's me. And then the people that raise their hand are like, well, I, uh, I'm a receptionist at a doctor. They're like, oh, yeah. you'll do. You've seen him. You know, yeah. like, it's basically, uh, they put out the word, who's a doctor, and everybody that <laughs> still you know had a, a license are like, oh, my license. Uh, I need I to know. renew it. But you know what? <laughs> And they probably go through the same thing that you just did for a yeah, medical. Yeah, they're you like, I have to pay the uh, the the money to the state to renew my license, but yeah. then I can make an easy seventy five bucks a patient. They and have, ram them up through all. They day. have the lab coats more than regular doctors, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like they are the only doctors that wear lab coats are medical yeah. marijuana doctors. Like regular uh, doctors are walking worry, like yeah. a suit, yeah. you know, or like just like a tie and like, you know, hi. Yeah. You know, like these guys, they, they look like doctors on cartoon it, shows. It, it, it just, <laughs> or my daughter at the science center, you know. Why? We're all adults here. Why Why do we doing this? It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, no, Did no, you no, get fine. your recommendation? Yeah, of course all I right. did. Well, I'm not going to not get it. Yeah, <laughs> that's and true. Also, don't like, I don't know. I didn't hear your breath. <laughs> you were holding your breath. Denied. Know. You're not breathing. I should send you to a regular. I wish that guy had said, like, I'm going to punish you for holding your breath and trying to make me look like a fool. <laughs> so no weed for you. You're like, oh, <laughs> come on, dude. He's like, fuck <laughs> you. Get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like, the, uh, like, if you're on to me, I'm Nazi, on to you. Or a soup Nazi in yeah. Seinfeld, like the weed Nazi. Yeah, yeah, he's like, you I'm like, no. I'm just joking. He's like, you're trying to make me look like a fucking idiot. Fuck you. No weed for you. No, he wants a 75 bucks. I know. I know. I know. Anyway, um, Seth, mm -hmm. do you want to do some uh, good story or bad story? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's yeah. go nice. right into it. I, mean, I, got, oh, I didn't well, know. I, Enough I, wasting I, time. I wasn't prepared. Let me get his song because yeah, I love it. Let's get love down to song. business. Let's right to it. Uh, all right. Here we go. Intro for Seth in action. Hi, me, Seth. We're going to tell you a couple stories, okay? You're going to be impressed. Me tell you two stories. One good, one bad. Me tell you a good one. Me promise you will laugh. Wait, why me see chat room saying good ones seem kind of bad? Huh. One story good. <laughs> one story bad. One story feel happy. One story me sad. One story me big, big hero. The next me douchebag. One story me good. Me really good. Me telling you this story good. One story me bad. It just puts me in a good mood. The yeah. harmony is so good. It's supposed to be good. funny, yeah. but it, yeah. it puts me in a mood. Yeah. It's supposed to be sponsored by justcallmode.com, but uh, now I'm <laughs> afraid because of the content of <laughs> yeah. what's being said. Yeah. So you don't want to. Yeah, I'll do. I'll uh, dump them out. I don't think there's anything bad with this one. 
<laughs> they're all bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I don't know if the person I'm talking about, what if they know that I'm, it's them and then can I get in trouble? <laughs> Not if you don't say their name. Mo yeah, just well, don't well, say their I, name. I, well, that's what Amber Heard didn't say anything about Johnny. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah, and you're that's, just on the well, same level. Actually, I was going to say that's a little Amber different. Heard, yeah. on a podcast. <laughs> They're not listening. I was going to say that's a little different, but I don't know what you're about to say. So. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, 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 I was, too. I was going to say, like, there's a lot. I mean, that was an onion. Yeah. 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 Ye
Um, I'm, like, I'm just as cute as a curious cat. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I want to see what's go- going on inside the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like a curious cute cat. <laughs> what is that? Is that yard? I don't know. But boy, is it. I My have an insatiable me, which... appetite to bat uh, something. Uh, so. Uh, so I happened to notice that um, you know it only shows when there's motion. So I saw. Oh, so there are a bunch of clips of every time yes. someone comes into the yeah. house in motion, and then yeah. it, it starts and then it record, recording. And then it starts okay. recording. Yeah, yeah. So Do you I, warn people coming to your oh, house. Oh, there's or? a big sticker on the front that says "This house is video monitored." So yeah. All nah, right. right. Or like Mo, a, to, Mo yeah. told me to say that. Thank you. Bro. Yeah. We uh, got it. I feel bad for Mo. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. Yeah, I mean, it's such it's an easy the name to yell too. It's just like, yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Individuals he has to deal yeah. with. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, so I noticed that there was a, uh, the camera went off in my master bedroom uh, at like 2.33 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> All right. Uh, we so, say uh, main bedroom. <laughs> Ma- oh, we are. Right. I'm joking. Whatever. Whatever. I, don't care. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know. It's good. I'm, just continue. Say what's in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, so and my girlfriend is watching us with me. Right? We're checking it out. Like, oh, let's see what happened when we're gone. So she's sitting with me. And at about 2.30 a.m., we saw her mother uh, <gasps> walk into my main bedroom. Uh, with a, a dude, I don't know, some big jack guy. <laughs> Real big muscular. Yes. What's up, brother? <laughs> uh, it's me, brother. It was, it was. I know I teased you at the beginning of the story, brother, but I'm here, brother. And let me just tell you, I'm going to eat those vitamins, I'm going to eat them good, and I'm going to say those prayers. Bro, oh, he eats too much lasagna, yeah. and then he has zero oh, uh, <laughs> It's hard uh, to pump when I got ZD pouch, brother. So it wasn't Hogan, but it was like, it was, he was red. He looked like EC3, actually. <laughs> he honestly, I swear to God, he looked like he. Now that I'm thinking about it, red tan, bro. red tan, red, red tan, brown. brown. Oh, oh boy, red, red brown. Yeah. Ooh, so, yeah. Dig it. so I immediately kind of like what? Like I kind of got like that drop in the feeling, like yeah. oh shit, so you got a boner. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you got a fucking that, boner. Just, just wait. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, we watched. Wait, I forgot. Is this the good or the bad? <laughs> uh, you know there is no. Yeah. In a world, yeah. and there is. It, it depends. On, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, this we don't know the, yet. At this oh, point, we don't know yet. No, at this yeah, point, yeah. it's like you the, guys can choose. It, I, this could go. At this point, it's like choose the haunted adventure. mansion. It's just a loop of cars that go around. You know, there's no good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just always running. <laughs> depends on where you are on the run. You know, like the beginning or the end. Yeah. The end is the beginning. <laughs> it's a smashing pumpkin. Uh, so now when you see this in the girlfriend in which the, your, it's Sitting her mom. Right. You're, you are visibly shaken, right? Uh, you're like, you can't even talk. Do, do you, you both know where this is going and immediately I mean, she's you pause like, it, right? Stop. You go like, hey, before we go any Are further. Are you sure you want to see that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Courtesy. Um, or is she curious? Or like, she's curious, but doesn't, is upset curious, but I was like, like what's see. upset curious? Like, oh my God, I cannot believe yeah, like, she I'm did just, this. Yeah, like, I'm just, yeah, kind of like, not crying yet, but, <laughs> but she was just like, uh, what the, uh, what is she like upset curious but what she's like she what are they doing, doing? Oh keep going keep going I'm like, oh. like all right, well. <laughs> oh my god he's taking off his true religions <laughs> uh, so it started with um, is the mom hot <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. She's with the no. Hogan. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so it started with them getting totally undressed. Yes. <laughs> getting That's what, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> like I banged my wife this morning. I had on socks and a tank top. You know what I mean? Like oh you don't do God. that. No, but you don't do that. That is and a. That's fun, man. I miss those days when you get totally just, naked. It was weird to me when you just stand there and look at each other and just yeah, uh, but that's just rope. Yeah. Like, uh, don't yeah. just you gotta look good to do that. Well, isn't there this back and forth where you're making out? And you're taking each other's clothes off. Or, oh, wow! You know what I'm saying? Like you just stand there yeah, like a no, robot. It was, it, was, it was like a robot just like, taking the clothes. Well, sometimes <laughs> you're like, "Hey, let's get," you know, and you yeah, go yeah, fast yeah, to try, yeah, and yeah. then you get under the covers real yeah. fast. Yeah. But the thing is, the the crazy part about this is that she knew there was a camera in there. Like they both knew there was a camera in there. And are you sure they knew? Uh, I'll tell you why they knew. Okay. Oh, wow. oh they were smiling and <laughs> thumbs up <laughs> into the camera. No, oh. they were taking their cell phone. They turned their light on. Oh, they gave they got and some they backlighting. Try, and they say there's a camera right there. There is a camera right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there shi- is. And they're shining yeah. the light in the camera so like 
maybe it'll blind the camera so we can't see. Well, that's I hard see. to fuck with. Well, like, like, right? well, that's, that's they're not that's doing very they're hard they're to not, fuck. They're not doing that yet. <laughs> cool. they're undre- they got undressed and then they started doing that. Well, no, you're supposed to do that <laughs> first, <laughs> then get undressed. Well, no <laughs> shit. But weird. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Hogan not the smartest. You know what I'm saying? Let's get undressed first, brother. So and then figure out this cell phone. I mean, it was obviously they were intoxicated because there was back and forth. They got into bed. They started messing around a little bit. Then they started trying to do that again. <laughs> then trying to take care of that camera again, brother. <laughs> then, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't work up my. my I'm the whole time. But what did they think? Did just by shining a flat? A they thought light? it would blind it. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it was on a real eye hole. What is that? It's temporarily like you can't see it. Then as soon as you walk away, I've heard the cameras are god's eyeballs, brother. Well, they, maybe they, they were trying to them. trigger it so that you would watch. No, I, don't know. I like no. the way you're thinking. Like you put a shirt over it, or like yeah, you, or you, do the black no, spray you paint dot. You grab it, you rip it off the fucking wall and get your blow job. Yeah. Yeah. You say I hit it with a broom or something. You know. So as we're watching it, she's getting more and more disgusted because they were going further and further. Can you see like they took? Can a, you see everything? Yeah, you see everything. And and it, she's sitting there watching her mom get her pussy eaten and shit. No, oh, no. no at, at half. Okay, wait. I couldn't do that, man. Like, I, no. I talk a big talk and I say a lot of what? shit on this show. <laughs> Up until but this. I know I'm just saying, if that was on the screen, I'd be, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, ah, kill me! As, as soon as you, as soon as you, like your mom walks in, <laughs> yeah. you're like, I'm out, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. If, and also yeah. delete <laughs> <laughs> immediately. Yeah. So on top of the sex. As soon as they started doing drug, start drugs in my bed, <laughs> in <laughs> then, bed. then in Wait, my what bed, kind of drugs? Yeah, they were skiing in my bed. Oh, <laughs> well, it's wow. a weird place. Then. Skiing and skating. <laughs> and as soon, and as soon as that started happening, she got up and she's like, "I'm going home now," ah, and talking to her, I guess. So they she sure got smashing up, all the shot glasses. <laughs> she, she, uh, no, she was. She got enraged. She's like, "Delete this. Uh, I'm gonna go there. I'll call you later." And she walked out and. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, so of course I went and locked the door behind her. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I continued watching about 45 minutes wow! of the most. Oh, that's uh, a motion oh, picture. Oh, no, because there was, because there was a lot of breaks in between <laughs> yeah, well, you and there was a day. lot of real good stuff. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Well, <laughs> well again, I, well, I'm assuming, I'm assuming she was not unattractive. <laughs> Oh, and no, yeah, no, and I, respectful. Was, I was jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to say that. <laughs> I, yeah, we get it. Yeah, we, yeah. we did the math. You just said lock the door. What you said, lock the door. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why do you want to make sure? <laughs> I don't know, but it was. <laughs> he did. He went back yeah. for one more. Yeah, you, leave yeah, yeah, yeah. you leave it open. You leave it open. He went back for the double tap. Yeah, yeah. You leave it like I may have been in that area. You got our first. You got our first bra. Come on in the chat room. We've never got a bra. Come on. Never got a bra. Come on. Uh, so in like uh, six years of being on Twitch, and um, and then after the fuck, uh, after it was all said and done, it was a little awkward. I didn't a tell. Little it. Awkward. I, mean, well, I, didn't, I mean, it was a little. It honestly really wasn't a little awkward. <laughs> Did you see but, the mom again? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah Thanksgiving she, carving the turkey. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Uh, did, did anybody ever bring right. up? Because she brought my my girlfriend at the time brought it up to her, and they had a they were oh. fighting for a good two. But three she months. didn't. The mom didn't say anything to you of like no. apologizing no. or. Oh wow! Like, like you no, ba- one thing. I, mean, I banged. Did she ever friend? come on to you? Mm, no. Mm. No. Like I banged in That's my daughter's boyfriend's going. bed you, you and did sw- coke. He board. swerved me a little bit because <laughs> you let, thought he was gonna be. Yeah, let me bang. guess. Let me tell you what my uh, guess. No. My guess was because I know a little bit of the story. What was the good part? I I was. Well, oh, that was well. the bad because I felt bad that I did that. Was oh, a bad story. Bad. Yeah, yeah. I I, was, I mean, see, it could be good or bad. It's cool. That I'm I did gonna it. say to help you feel better. <laughs> to help you feel better, I'm gonna say none it, of that was cool. To help Seth feel better, I'm gonna say that if I had security, paranoid security, like you had. And if a girlfriend that I had, because I won't say my wife, you know, I'll say a girlfriend yeah. that I had, and if her mom was hot and did that, I, I would, it would be very hard for me not to jack up. <laughs> I run hot. I run very hot. I'm just telling you. Because as it was yeah, going, you know, I was getting Again, you don't go to podcasts and talk about it. <laughs> but I think even Tom might fall into the category yeah. of doing something once and, uh, you know, and yeah, then yeah, never yeah. speaking Because if it my again. girlfriend didn't get up and leave, I was going to try to have sex with her right there, like, right? Because I was getting, like, turned on. Come on, bro. This is Come on, bro. Right. Them, it's like them. a mirror looking at yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, yeah. Then the videos in the background. It's like proof, it po- been really hot. It's like proof positive of what she's going to look like when she's older and <laughs> you're watching it, you know? And you're <laughs> like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, the chat wants to know if you still have the clip. 
<laughs> no, I really say don't. clip. I it mean, it was a forty-five minute. No, I did delete. It deletes after like two weeks anyway, so I just let it. I just okay. let it. I just let it go. That was a little. Let it go, <laughs> man. That's a goodie. <laughs> For let it go. <laughs> that one is exhausting. So, uh, so what's the good one? <laughs> The good one is actually, I'm proud of myself that I did this. Okay. Oh, okay. And I've, I've kind of done stuff like this in the past, but not to the extent, I guess you could say. And this is a more recent one. I don't have to f go back into my early childhood. Right. Okay, that's good. good. Yeah, the one where you were like, when I was a baby one time, <laughs> I didn't cry. <clears throat> uh, this was like this was like a few weeks ago. Um, we know how gas is kind of crazy expensive right now, obviously. Haven't um, heard a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I decided instead of taking my Hellcat or my Raptor, <laughs> I took my, I want to drive my motorcycle around a little more to save on gas. Nice. Oh, uh, I got motorcycleitis right now, man. I want a bike so bad. Yeah. Cause the uh, weather. I'm trying to talk Tracy and I get one too. She wants a moped. I'm like, get a damn bike. You're not getting a moped. I'll get you a bike, not a moped. It's just dangerous. Yeah. God damn, she can't get anything she wants. No, I'm oh, getting, no. buy you a motorcycle instead of a moped. Wah, cry me a river. Yeah, but it's, it's more dangerous. I don't yeah, care yeah. what she wants. It's what I want. I, moped, I realize that. And moped's easier, yeah, especially for someone if if Tracy you've never size before. Yeah, to, like a uh, motorcycle size. What do you mean? Well, it's like a motorcycle so is heavy, heavy. and uh, well, once I get her, her heavy tits, it'll be we'll weigh her down. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> you're driving your motorcycle. All right. So I'm driving the motorcycle. Uh, you know why he has to do that? Because he doesn't feel comfortable giving him the good. He has to say the <laughs> shitty shit. You yeah, know what I mean? He's got to sprinkle it on. Yeah, he's got to put the shitty uh, shit on the top of it because uh, he knows if he's... Saying, yeah, okay. Yeah, give can't us be the good. can't be too yeah, good. Yeah, it is a mental little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I pull up to the gas station and you know how there's always people coming by asking you for money, all this stuff that sometimes, I mean, where I'm at downtown, they... I'll, a bunch yeah. of bums come up to you and ask uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I'm filling up my tank in my, in my motorcycle and this guy's sitting in his car with his family uh and i'm looking at them i didn't he didn't come up to me yet i'm looking at him like oh my his car is a sh fucking piece of shit <laughs> uh -huh. all dented up and uh, your car piece of I'm shit sorry, this, is, this is the good yeah. well, <laughs> i know i didn't mean to judge Ew. i don't mean to judge you, i don't mean to i just do it <laughs> yeah i don't mean to it. my mind your say. family from here <laughs> yeah, yeah, i'll be you stay gone by and that's kind of the back part like i looked and i just felt sorry for oh, them you uh, guys you know? dirty <laughs> So as I'm pumping, I'm not looking. And he, I apparently gets out of the car. He walks over. He's like, "Excuse me, man. Excuse me, man." I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, Why do you it. airbrush uh, monkeys on your motorcycle? <laughs> it looks fucking stupid. Uh, he goes, "Do you mind just giving me a couple bucks for gas in my car?" I took a breath and I was like, "Fuck! I just drove my motorcycle to save money on on gas." Now I'm, he's asking. This me guy's for ruining money. your life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. How they all uh, gas? But I like I did another take and looked at the look at the people in the car mm -hmm. and i was like you know what i'm gonna help help this guy out so i went over and instead of just giving him a couple bucks i filled his entire tank up oh wow um what kind of car uh, black i don't fucking know suv like or no just it was like, just a car like a, if you're like a smart car or something, i mean it was like you don't get any count it was count. it was it needed to be filled up so it was i don't remember it was like 40 bucks or something like that did he really want shit. gas? I was kind of like, well, it feel, it, I would have known that if I would have pumped and it was just, it was clicked right away. <laughs> yeah. It was very full. <laughs> yeah. I would have known. He's you been know. doing it all day. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Like, I want That's why. <laughs> Fill yeah. my mouth with oxygen. <laughs> I am empty. <laughs> And then, but I'm still mad as I'm doing it, kind of like I'm, I'm doing it Don't for him. Don't be that guy. Bad. You gotta let it go. Give it to God. Because he's like, you're mad looking at <laughs> Well, <laughs> he's like talking to me about me my bike. Me mad doing this. I hope you know me mad. <laughs> <laughs> because he's talking to me about my bike as I'm doing it. He's like, well, I never seen one that's all blacked out like I that. know, because you poor. He's like, trying to be nice. I know, but I'm like, yeah, there's a lot that come like that, actually. Like, I'm just being like sarcastic. You know none of this because you can't afford internet. God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your family mad. <laughs> Scare your kids. Yeah. Yeah, just a. Uh, <laughs> that's the good. Really bad. Yeah, I think the other. One, right I think there. the other one is the good. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> I think the other one to jack it off. Yeah. I think anybody would jack off to a hot mom video that you have, and then yeah, delete yeah. it because your girlfriend asked you to do that. That's respectful. This other yeah, one, you're being an asshole to this guy. Oh, yeah, ass. I did a good deed. <laughs> it doesn't matter why I did it or how no, I did I it. But it came, I did it. But it came, I think it's good bad. It came I mean, with shame, as, and then you're. No, as mean, he drove off, I kind of like kicked his car. I'm joking. Yeah, I did not do that. I'm joking. <laughs> right, I did not right, do that. I didn't do that. I, uh, oh. There it is. There All it right. Is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's take a quick break. All right. When we come back, um, I know we're going to catch up with Ross. Yeah. He's over at Power Spot. For a little bit, uh, what uh, Ross uh, can't, yeah, I always forget his bit. Yeah, though. confrontation <laughs> of the week. Confrontation yeah. of the week. A little Ross confrontation. What Ross is mad about? <laughs> yeah, 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 we can call it that. Um, this is Ann Beretta featuring Krista Makes. This is a really, uh, it's a cool song. It's called Better Medicine. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time right after this.
Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. So Seth told us during the break that he came here last Friday mm-hmm. uh, when we were gone for the week on our summer vacation. And uh, you brought your nephew here. <laughs> yeah. For what reason now? Just to be cool. <laughs> How old is he? I want him to, he's 10. Oh, mm. my God. Uh, Not I appropriate. Him, I, I t- <laughs> well, I, and I told him. I'm like, okay, we're gonna go in there, but I might have to tell you to say earmuffs a couple of times. Like, I don't know. I'm, I don't, earmuffs a couple of times. We yell oh fuck on every other word. <laughs> well, he's used. To, I say fuck in front of him all the time. It's okay. he <laughs> yeah, knows yeah not, but he, knows he would have heard your good story, bad story. That yeah. whole no, I didn't. I didn't come in to do this. Do oh, uh, you, you were just I, visiting? I was just visiting. I was gonna oh, literally okay. just stop by. And what if we? Like, Here's the guy. What if when you stuff. answered, this is what I do. I sit here. What if we're like? What if we're painting with pig tits on it? What if you answer the door? Stolen valor. And you come in, and we're like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, what's up? I'm like, uh, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> right? oh, yeah. Anytime yeah. I see you with a kid now, yeah. I'm going to act like I don't know you. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yes, sir, <are> you okay? <laughs> Do you need help? But he was all excited. I told him, like, yeah, because he loves YouTube. And, he, you know, he's a little kid, so he watches all YouTube and podcasts on there and stuff like that. Kids playing video games. I'm like, it's kind of just like that. There's microphones everywhere. There's cameras it's everywhere. It's kind of just <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, these, these guys are, you, you know, no. Oh, God. These I, guys are Orlando's Paul brothers. <laughs> I'd like to make fun of you more, but, uh. I do uh, and have recently been trying to impress my sons You more. still, every time you See? walk in here with your sons, you're like, there it is. And they're no, like, no. oh, God. I, and, uh, and Maisie don't give a fuck. I don't know what it is. Hates, hates what I do, doesn't even know what I do, <laughs> but hates it. Like, I want my sons to be impressed by their old man, and I want them to think I'm special and, like, I'm something uh, in this world. No, no. <laughs> like, whatever. That's, sad. No, no. No, that's all I want to be, too. Be all I want is my daughter to look at me, but not, like, with her nose crinkled. <laughs> you know, I want her to look at me like, that's my father. And You know what's weird is that I don't feel, I feel like I this generation, like, did our parents' generation want that, too? Because I feel like my dad didn't give a fuck if I thought what he did was cool or oh, not. Oh, no, uh, my dad did. He, he yeah, like, my dad cared because I remember I hurt my dad's feelings. I think it's, yeah, I think it's situational. I hurt my dad's feelings one time by saying something really hurtful to him, and I fucking broke him. I, I saw that. Not to get though. serious, but I saw that one time, and I was like, oh, wow, yeah. And it was a, it was like a meaningful moment that I had where I was like, yeah, you can't talk to your parents like that because they're not, uh, they don't, they have an end. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, they have uh, a, a place where they'll get sad. Well, well, no, well, what I mean by, like, did they want you to be impressed by what they did? Like, Maybe my, they don't say it, but I bet your dad did, yeah. Well, my dad, at least, I, my mom tells me that he was like, don't let my sons do what I do for a living. It's hot as shit in these boats. And, <laughs> well, like, my you dad know, said like, that, too, about salesmen. Working too hard. Like, so he didn't want me to do what he did for a living. You'd a say that to mechanic. Tommy and Max, right? Like, don't do this. No, no, I say, I'm like, I'll teach you how to do this. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I want them to be interested and want to like yeah, do yeah. this. Like it would be my dream to have them work for the company. Uh, yeah, and too, then, that's how know. I would feel about it. I wanted my nephew to do that. That's why I took him to karate. I started up in karate. Yeah. I'm like, I'll teach you everything. Um, I needed somebody to take it over. After yeah, me. but I don't think uh, kids. What about Javier? <laughs> uh, he's not my blood. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Has he heard that? Oh, he knows. Do I need to cut that out? He can go open another dojo under me, but he can't have my my, my name, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. It's different. It's like, Sorry. Well, it's wow, like wow. Yellowstone. Only the kids yeah, the are Duttons. get the property. Only the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Duttons only. The, the, the homeless uh, ranch <laughs> hand that just lived there, he gets shit. Is that yeah. still around? I didn't watch it. <laughs> Season but... five coming. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Now we're going to hear more it. about it. Yeah, <laughs> Tom, Tom made the statement that he thinks it's better than the boys. I did not say no, that. No, he didn't say that. He did uh, not say that. That's a lie. So, uh, anyway, uh, impressing little kids is it's a thing. It's a thing. But yeah. I mean, my whole I, car is based around that. I don't give principle. a fuck about impressing kids. <laughs> yeah, I brought yeah, Maisie yeah, yeah. here. I, like, thing I put the people. headphones on her. I'm like talking to the microphone. She's like, yeah, I know. I can do this with earbuds. Because yeah, she can. But so she's like, I don't care. This is stupid. I don't want to do any of this. Well, it's not other. I think the kids that you have to be related to you. Like, I don't give a sh- two shits about other. That's not true. Other little because kids because you say you want to be the fun guy when all your friends bring their kids. Well, they're in the That's orbit. That's the bully, my friends. So but they're that in they, the orbit. So that when the kids go back home, yes. they're like, uh, this dad's know, better. Yeah, Mr. Tom is better than you. And they <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. And yeah, then he's like, he's more fun. He uh, plays with us. Like you've know. done some things to sort of indoctrinate my daughter into like things that you like to do. Like she thinks you're fun pool dad she also said because of this fourth of july thing that we're doing she's like i want mr tom to make his snack and sausage she never even eats it 
<laughs> but yeah, she'll yeah. say she wants it. Be, you know, it hurts my feelings. Yeah, yeah, that's my what I'm trying to do. My whole family fucking hates me. <laughs> that's, what, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, well, it's working. Um, Hope you're happy. So uh, I know we're calling Ross here in a minute. Uh, He'll be calling us. Yeah, oh, he's, he's going to call us. Yeah. He's out working the fireworks he tent. He asked for the phone so number. So <laughs> Juan, <laughs> Juan sitting That's on the couch. Awesome. How are oh, you doing, hey, Juan? Juan? What's up, Juan? Oh, let me get your mic on. Uh, which one? This one? Yeah, the, right, you're, hey, what's on up? The, you're on blue mic. So uh, let's talk barbecue. Um, All right. Because Juan's a chef. He knows. Um so, well, more, there's another chef over here, too. Yeah, the where? This guy. The, oh, mm-hmm. hey, well, I know one. I don't right. know this guy. Right. <laughs> 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 like, I seen you cook. <laughs> and every day, and you're there, and it's good. Um, so uh, you, when you're doing a proper barbecue, I'm give, what I got mad about recently is my wife wanted to learn how to cook me chicken properly. And um, she did it. And it was better than the chicken that i cook on the grill Ooh. because she followed the instructions she read off of uh, the internet yeah uh, like i do that all the time on high for five minutes then uh on low for 10 and then check the temperature internally and whatever uh, what'd you sear it and then that's what she did yeah. and i'm like this came out good and, and i got mad at myself for why can't i do this if, if she can she's a vegetarian she never even does this i've been cooking chicken my entire life and it's always dry and horrible because well I'm, you don't put any effort into it well i'm not I, I'm going. Well, he does the same thing every time and expects a different outcome. <laughs> That's Literally true. The same thing. That is true. Well, it, like I see how you cook chicken. You know food. what you do? You heat your grill. He, this is how he does it. Let, allow me. All right. He heats his grill to like. I don't know, lava, for magma, <laughs> like literally 500 degrees. Then he lifts it, then he lays everything on there gently, and then he closes it, and he'll see it. I'll see it in an hour. Well, he weirdly puts aluminum foil down first, like a like a OCD weirdo. Oh, yeah, I oh, forget you've seen your this. Grill? I forget yeah. you well, see this. He's like, I don't want to clean it later. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> lazy. Oh, God. Because he doesn't have Lee to clean his grill anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he asked for money. Oh, I gave him a job, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. You <laughs> said a God damn it on the internet. It's not my fault. He <laughs> shows. Up here, dressed oh. like he's you know a d- disturbed g- lead guitarist. That's how you know when you cut him and he yells him a a God damn it, he goes full veto. You yeah. cut him a little yeah. bit. You cut him a little bit. I, anyway, I did that because it, uh, all the fat ends up starting a fire and then it well, rusts out. Because your grill isn't clean, you yeah. got to clean your grill. I, yeah, yeah, but that's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, so uh, Juan, um, <laughs> when uh, when I'm trying to cook some chicken here, uh, what do you suggest? On the grill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, first thing is don't make sure it's not cold. the chicken's not cold. That's like the first mistake everybody makes. Is like they try to cook proteins that are just out of their fridge. Frozen. Yeah, you got to let it sit. You got to let it come out. Through, like Just like sit on the counter for like two hours. You're not going to get sick. You just let it come to as close to cooked temperature as it can naturally without any outside force, basically. All right, so throw it on the grill uh, room temperature. Yeah. Right. Uh, Leave it out all if night. If you're going to grill it, you could probably like you know do like a little bit of a brine action because it's you know grilling is like do a you know severe cooking method. You're going to dehydrate the chicken breast, which is naturally just the worst cut of meat on the planet. Mm. Um, do you know how to brine? No, I do not. I, I put it in think? a Ziploc bag and pour moho on it. <laughs> I mean, pour what on it? I, I mean, a brine is like moho, uh, like a, uh, a marinade. marinade. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, marinades <laughs> works too. Like mm. you're basically just trying to like introduce some other level of moisture to an otherwise like devoid Put of some fat. chocolate milk in there there you go uh, uh, uh mm-hmm. and then yeah so like high heat to like sear it and get all the marks so like about like a minute on each side like 30 seconds turn it to get the nice like diamonds and then flip it over th- you know super high heat and then move it over to the side of the grill that's not as hot and you can close the lid if you want and then cook the middle like exactly yeah. what my wife saw yeah. on the internet okay. uh, God, why can't I follow the instructions? What about well, sausage? Because I've the myth of don't poke holes and let the juice out. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, you don't need to do that. But then I don't know when it's cooked. Yeah, I'm so it's that, sitting that there, and I'm like, when is it ready? And you, then I cut it open. I'm like, is this is either ready or, wa- or not red you, inside? Ready what is, not. Why don't you just get a meat thermometer? They're like eight bucks. What if I brought you and, one? That's what I'll bring. That's what I'll bring. Just One cook of the best an, cook investments it, I Cook got an extra sausage each time and designate yeah, that the cut sausage that you had cut open. And, I usually do that. Yeah, I usually do that. Yeah. Yeah. You feed that one to the person you like least at the party. Yeah. Yeah. And that's usually me because I'm like hungry, so I eat it, and then I'm like, ah, well, if I get diarrhea, yeah. I already have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, with the meat You're thermometer, it, it feels like, first, I can't remember what temperature is supposed it to be. It says it on the fucking thermometer. For you, 165. 
Everything wants yeah. a cucumber. Oh, everything. Yeah. Okay, why yeah. okay. You can blanket it. Like, he can blanket it. If you want like a steak. Can it be you, 159? <laughs> because I can remember that. You know number. what? That's actually a pretty good temperature to pull it off. Yeah, because like uh, physics says that the sausage will continue to cook yeah, as will. you take it off the grill. And it'll climb up to that temperature. So 159 yeah. and done. All right. Not, I remember not, that. not your steaks. And, you know, like if you're. I don't think you guys eat pork chops because you got crystal. I love super that. vegetarian. Yeah, I use pork chops but all the like, time. Your steaks, you know, like one twenty-five, one thirty, because you you know want them to be yeah. I not like hammered. a rare. I mean, you could but really like your eat sausage, your all. chicken breast, all that stuff. Like one one fifty-nine. Go for it, dude. All right. There you go. Okay. Now you have you can blanket that okay. with all your. Te- now I'll get you one. And the cool thing about it, like Sam says, the temperatures are almost etched into it. So it tells you each meat what the temperature yeah, needs to be, you. and you just push it, and it's an insta touch. So when as soon yeah. as you put it in there, it goes to town. Just want to make sure that the because the, the probe will be like a like a piece of metal, and then it'll have like a thinner point at the end that's maybe like half an inch long, and you want that piece to be directly in the center of whatever that's it is. That's, that's what's part, hard yeah. to me. I feel like, like we're explaining too cutlery to through. a caveman. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just like the, the where the sensor is. I had one I left out, and I got a rusty tip. Oh, no, that's fine. And then mm, I would yeah. just stick that I in there. Yeah, that's good. Hey, but then I, then I was like, is it does it know the temperature now? Because there's a coating of rust on it. <laughs> so that's a good question. Uh, the test is uh, fill a cup with ice water. Water, and if it reads 32 degrees, then you're good to go. No, uh, well, now right, I gotta think do ex- about that. experiments. Yeah, <laughs> then I gotta drink this goddamn Oz water. <laughs> literally, literally five seconds. But 98.6, you're good. Uh, well, unless, <laughs> unless you're not. Um, That's it, true. You could have Corona. Mm-mm. So, Avi tested positive yesterday, by the way. Who did? Avi tested positive. Oh, <laughs> my, God. Oh, 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 my God. God. Wait, tell us at the beginning. Yeah, uh, I'm fine. I'm, well, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, I did grapple with him the day before, though. Oh, For fuck's sakes, God. man. Uh, everybody's positive. <laughs> <laughs> I just had it like a month ago, so I think I'm, I'm, I'm bu- well, So fuck us, right? Uh, no, I won't get I no, can't yeah, share yeah, anything. You, you day walker for sure. If you have I, it's, got, it's gotten to the point where someone tells me they have corona, and I just like, all right, so what else is going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even like, oh, I'm not even concerned anymore. You're still married? All right, how's your wife? Someone recently told me they had corona. I'm like, oh, I'll go feel better. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Ross is running a little bit late, so okay. it's about fine. 15 minutes. Let's do yeah, some voicemails. No at all. Let's do voicemails. If you have a voicemail that you want to leave us, there's a couple ways to do that. Although one of them, I don't know, one of them might be down. I tried to uh, go through our Ring Central, our vanity number, the one eight four four T O M N D A N. This morning, that thing's having some issues, and I wrote them an email, and they are having some. They're doing some, um, I guess, uh, some work on their servers. Uh-huh. So for right now. It might be down. I, I can't get in there and get anything. But it is a weird thing if your internet business goes down or they have to do maintenance or like, uh, you know, between this time and this time, yeah. our entire business will not operate. It's odd. <laughs> it is weird. Yeah, it is very, very and odd. I'm like, that's got to hurt you a little bit, right? Your yeah. entire business is shut down. It's bad. Um, let's go with this voicemail right here. Tom, Dan, Sam, fire people. Uh, so Dan, your issue with Taco Bell, I totally understand, but any employee that is telling you that they can't do something or out of something is either a new employee or was immediately told by the GM before you got there. I've been in hospitality for 10 years and I can tell you that that kind of bullshit happens all the fucking time. And especially when you're in a corporate restaurant, it's shit that affects... Not only the customer, but the employee and the person that has to give the direction to the employee. It's a shit-ass, backwards, fucking, dumb-ass, fucking, stupid, shit mm-hmm. way of doing shit. But You curse like my wife does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it doesn't sound yeah, like it's coming yeah. natural. <laughs> yeah, it's not. You're too smart <laughs> to curse like that, sir. Don't, don't try to be cool. Um, so you find the way you are without the curse words. You don't need to use them. Yeah, working in restaurants, uh, hospitality industry, uh, it seems like uh, he left us one. He left us a follow up. That seems like the hardest job to me. I think so. um, Yeah, by far. Like Uh, working in a restaurant. Although high end restaurant, I think I would crush. Well, there's like a a, like a a hierarchy there. It's like the cooks are pretty hard. The dishwasher is the absolute hardest job on the planet. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, and well, the most essential. Well, no, it's 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 grueling and thankless, and you're. It's like you know how Florida's like a soup. Like the atmosphere is like 100 percent humidity. Just crank the, like double that because of all the, yeah, the all steam. The at, yeah. Steam. Oh right. Okay. But right. isn't it automate? Like you put it and it just goes into a big thing that. Yeah, but over. you're like you're, you're living in like a in a sauna that's uh, also 
like a bunch of people's saliva and like Ooh. leftover food. Okay. You know what's yeah. funny? I'm Didn't cool. think about that. A lot of spit out the gristle on the side of the plate and you're <laughs> scraping. Oh yeah. Okay. I would rather be a dishwasher than deal with the customers. Like, Same. The, like because I would rather work well, a Well, you probably be better at it. Well, a physically hard job to yes. me doesn't scare me at all. Correct. Like uh, a job where you're constantly having to make Put customers happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, like and nice. then people are complaining to you. People are a dick to you. And then like this guy was saying like you're manager is making you do or say something and then they're not getting the the fucking yeah, slack yeah, yeah. from the goddamn customers you're the one getting cussed out i'd rather everybody stand in the sauna and just wash yeah. the yeah. dish yeah. Uh, you yeah. know i'll just listen to a podcast i mean it sucks physically but i don't have to deal with right. uh managers customers uh the people complaining about their food not cooked the gotcha. way they want it you know like so there is a zero percent chance that you could make it through a weekend at a busy restaurant as a dishwasher i have a 100 percent i am willing to bet any amount of money <laughs> yeah. well, i got one to wash some dishes i have to do that every day at home I could wash much, some dishes. I mean, any amount of money I'm willing to bet. <laughs> Hold on. Any amount? Yeah. You got money. I got uh, money. I'm not betting Mike B here. <laughs> Hold on. <Whoa. laughs> no offense, Mike B. Um, he did a follow-up. He did a follow-up. Let's try this one. Follow-up. Also, Tom, people working at even just fast food aren't fucking our words. So, uh, untuck your salmon polo and get a perspective. I don't think you'd last more than 15 minutes. Oh. Get your uh, chubbies chafing your thighs before you could even get a crunch wrap done. I had no idea that this That's was going to line up. That's just dumb luck. <laughs> First off, Fuck shit. Fuck yeah. I don't think Fuck I shit. ever, uh, you know, called people that worked at uh, Taco Bell <laughs> yeah, you the didn't. R word. Well, th- Although you- I want to. <laughs> 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 but I'd never said that publicly. And then uh, also, I could definitely work a chef at that Taco Bell. If I needed to, um, I know the menu. It would be well. horrible. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like I, I know it's it horrible. horrible. You're not telling me something I don't know, but I could do it. Yeah, right. What I mean, how bad could it, it would be? be fun just to do it, knowing you're just gonna quit in a couple of days just to fuck her off? What's like the fun? here's what it, here's what I couldn't. Not fun. I saw secured roofing. Yeah, I don't think it's ever fun. I no. saw secured I, roofing put on my roof, and I saw the uh, the mm-hmm. guys who did it, yeah. and they're standing on. The, I could not do that. Just physically. The amount of physical labor that they were doing on top of a roof, I, I may How do they have, get their jeans to stretch like that? <laughs> I know? may pass out. <laughs> you know, I, I physically may faint on my own roof, but I think I could mm-hmm. stand behind, uh, you know, uh, Taco Bell's kitchen and, you know, follow yeah, the instructions and make some gorditas. Yeah, Although, but you got to be fast, fast for that drive through line. You're, you'll never make it. No, I'll, well, 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 well I mean, I'll be, be I could, I'll be slower. How does it feel? What you give how me? How does it feel that everyone I mean, how has zero you? confidence? No, hey, I, have, I have confidence. How does that feel? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I want to know how that feels. You, you know, can't I find did, a piece of I'm, paper that's right in front of I'm, you. I'm, people should like, you for, can't make gorditas. You, you got to remember <laughs> the recipe oh, and how to. Well, what's the perception? Everybody's like, you'll never last at Taco Bell. Let's do the math. Get the get up the menu. I do this job. I think you could totally do the Taco Bell. You know, slinging the slinging the tacos, but the. Dishwashing is completely different. Well, let's go back to Taco Bell because, like, (laughs) let's just go down the menu. I did fuck up smoothies a lot. I think you (laughs) no (laughs) shit. I did fuck up smoothies, and that was an easy job. That's literally it. It gives you the green juice, dump it in. Me too. Forget strawberries now and again. (laughs) Well, I never thought they were 100 percent perfect for (laughs) sure. So, like Taco Bell, do you you think you could make a soft taco? (laughs) Yes. Soft taco supreme. Yeah, I don't I mean, think he can't not make it. No, I just don't, I don't think, think he's going to be able to no, cut it out I, and like being able to get everything both accurate and fast. I agree, well, but there's also need, some things he can't do. No, like no, there's, no. Okay, there's also... Well, there's also Taco Bell. There's they can't do it. I'll, do, I'll do just as good a job as they do. There's also shit he can't do. Like, there's no way in hell he can fold a crunch wrap. Right. That's not happening. There's no way in hell you can fold a burrito. You teach me. Of course I can. No, you can't. You can make a soft taco. He's taking that hoodie off. You can make a regular taco. You can make Taco Supreme. Sometimes you'll forget the tomatoes, I'm guessing. You can make... You can make a Mexican pizza, you can make a tostada, you can make, can't make any burritos, can't make any crunch wraps. It's, it's, they, no. it's Jesus, dummy proof. The There's all, no, but you can't fold it. Like, oh, um, you, you can't fold it. No way you could fold a burrito. It's your a, hands are. I can, yeah. I can, oh, <laughs> he's right. I your make hands burritos with for my sons you all the time. You're I too, fold. You're too handicapped to make burritos no, with those hands. No, I can make. No. My hands are you better than everybody. Your That's the only thing I would. My have hands are with. better than everybody's. <laughs> no, it's like asking Stephen Hawking to do a backflip. It, you can't. <laughs> you cannot make. No. no, you can't fold a burrito. They just burn and they're numb. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I 
still they weren't fine. There's another one about Taco Bell. I don't know if this He's just is just pouring this. sour cream on his hand. This might be the same guy. Let me see. Hey fellas, no. it's Drew. Um, you guys are talking about the Taco Bell and having to place online orders only. Um, so you just got to do what I do because. Chipotle's been doing that too. A couple of other places have been doing that as well. So what you do is you go to the window and they ask you if you have an online order and you say no. And then they say, oh, we're only doing online order. So what I do is I just uh, do the order at the window on my phone and stare at them while I'm doing it to make them really uncomfortable just to show them how fucking stupid it is. I mean, you can waste your time like that, but sometimes I got free time and, you know. Just like you guys like to fuck with uh, scammers, so you know, yeah, fuck I, me. I Pay can't, it forward. I can't do it. I, it drew, Again, it's not the uh, hourly employees' uh, fault. You know what I mean? They're just doing what they're fucking told to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make any sense, though. He's right. It no, is, I agree. It is stupid. They probably fucking hate it too, because then they have these guys being yeah, dickheads. Because everybody it. claps back. Everybody, like everybody in line before me, was clapping back. And then I was like, I had to, that weird decision of like, am I going to try and do this? I'm like, I'm not fucking doing this. You shouldn't be eating this shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know. That's, so it's it's helpful. It's, it's your actually fault for being in line. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. right. That's the, that's the point of failure of the line cook is when they have to stop taking orders. Like when you can't fold the crunch wraps fast enough, they <laughs> stop taking orders, and that's the failure point. Like you grind their whole yeah. operation to a halt. I don't think you could do that because so I don't even think I can fold a crunch wrap. I I mean no. I could do. No. <laughs> I, I you're not you asking it. me to do a nine hundred and a half mile do point. You're no. at fold a crunch wrap. No, I, I can fold I, a I, goddamn honestly, crunch wrap. I agree. I'm I think not, it's there's a lot of shit you can do, man. I'm not yeah. taking yeah. things away from you, and I'm not saying I can fold. No, you, <laughs> you can't fold. Give me crunch anything wrap. to fold. If I'll I, fold because you because I you're gonna have to. Is it gonna? It can't look like a sloppy piece of shit. Well, I mean, just it's got to look like the you know, it's got to have the almost like an octagon shape where they, you they, can see where do they, they do that it. by hand or is that like that's yeah, by hand? Is it? Are that's by sure? hand. Yeah, but absolutely, they're not artisans by back there. No, they're not. No, I've seen it. But there is a right way to fold it. Like my wife, if you watch yeah. my wife fold a burrito, it's like being at Gringos. It's fucking crazy. Like Andrea, when she does it, like she's like. She does the sides and then she tuck, tuck yeah, as she's rolling it. I do the, no, the you tuck can't roll. do it like her. No. I do it. I, I, you'll see. <laughs> I'll fall How about make your, no, that's you're going to eat like 100 crunch order. wraps at that 4th of July party. <laughs> I know. If this you bring weekend, me, uh, make, make a burrito or a crunch wrap and I'll, video yeah. it. I will. Come to my 4th of July we party we and won't. make one out of the tacos that yeah, I have. If you bring me anything, I'll fold it. Make If you bring it, we'll fold it. Guarantee. Whatever you want, I'll fold. <laughs> I like how that people's confidence is so little that like, this guy can't fold. <laughs> this guy can't walk. <laughs> like, the easiest things, right? It's awful. <laughs> you give it, that's the On easy. the surface, you think it sounds easy until you're in there doing it for eight hours straight. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, after you, if you do ten thousand of them, it's hard. I understand that, but it's just the, like one at a time. I can wash a dish, put it in the thing. I mean, the chat room is just going crazy because they're they're like, uh, not only can you not fold a crunch wrap, but we have we talked about like you take making change, you taking money, you printing a receipt, oh, you packing a bag, that. you putting sauce in the bag, you putting a Napkin. fork in the bag. A computer does nuts. most of it. It's like no, a pilot. It does, no, <laughs> it does, it just tells it you. I see them look. They're like, what? Are you they like they don't do the old math. They're, you know, you hand them the card, and then they. Uh, they tells you what to do. Oh, I got a voicemail here. Mike B is calling, but we are also waiting for a call yeah, from uh, Ross. So no, I, you we, got might, mad. we might want to wait for Ross's call. Hey, Mike B, is that you? Yeah, that's me. What's hey. up, buddy? Hey, I just wanted to uh, call in and pile on. Uh, okay. Tom, I will show up to your 4th of July party and out front trap you in a moment. This is him trying to force his way into your party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know Sam. I was born yesterday. <laughs> we want Sam's titties, not your titties. <laughs> <laughs> Although you bring. I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. If you let me suck them, come Sloppy. on, bring the rap. Um, no, uh, Mike B. Of, <laughs> of course, you could. You've worked in uh, the food industry for how many years? The twenty years. Uh, nineteen this year. Yeah. 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 Oh, so wow. no, of course you're better at it than I am. I'm just saying that I could fold. <laughs> if it need, if Is that the new be. thing you yell? <laughs> you gotta know when to I hold them, when to fold them. I can wash some dishes if need be. Uh, you you can't, Tom. It's such a shit job, dude. Like it is the worst. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do it for a weekend. Well, nobody believes in you, man. <laughs> How's that feel? I just well, how long are we talking for? Uh, One I'll, day or a whole uh, week? A whole week uh, uh, for a five thousand dollar bet. I will uh, work. Uh, nice. What? What? Um, a twelve hour dishwashing shift. 
Uh, it's got to be at a busy restaurant, I can set too. this up. Two yes, days let's do it. Five, yeah. Who's going to put up $5,000? Because that's the amount of money. Well, he'll just blood eye through it. Juan just raised his white claw in the air. <laughs> well, Daniel knows. Yeah, he'll blood like, eye through it. I, will I saw there. him lift my entire no, scooter. There's, there's, there's caveat there. Like, if, if the restaurant grinds to a halt, you have failed. So I have to do you it. You have to keep you it have, up. You have to actually... Well, complete the job. Well, now you're. No. Uh, yeah, anybody uh, can. Yeah, anybody yeah, can stuff dishes button. into the machine. It's doing it uh, uh, successfully. Yeah, well, the guy that's been there for two years doing it, I'll he can do I'll it fast. You, I'll give you, you know, a night like, to practice. Like I don't. Uh, I don't know the dishwasher. Uh, like th- there's certain things. You gotta that you, toughen up your hands too. <laughs> no, no. I, I think what you if they go numb while something. you're trying to wash? <laughs> no, no. I, it's I'm just, trying to help you. What if your hands go numb? That's and fine. You, and I you're just that dropping that. plates and they're breaking. Oh, I'll hold on. <laughs> I can hold. I can fold. <laughs> That's what I always say. Hold and fold. <laughs> hold by. Oh. Hold ready. Oh. 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 You can't hold. I'm like I can hold. You gotta know what to hold. Stop submitting on our guests. And you gotta know what to fold. We're fine. <laughs> you gotta hold and fold. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Rogers. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Like I understand that. It, like I've seen the TikTok videos of the guy that can uh, like shuffle the. The trays, like the trays, <laughs> the trays. There's yeah. a guy you that guys do- have the same videos. There's a guy that does it with yeah, yeah. Uh, with trays in like a, a lunch room, and it is amazing. It's like the guy that can fold a pizza box insanely. He's like, <laughs> and then you know you see that video. Like I don't like this. And like, yeah, I can't <laughs> do that. But I could fold a box, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it'll take you a but, long time. Man, that guy's folding like uh, 20 boxes in a minute. Uh, like, yes, because I've he's been doing tr- it for 10 years. I've seen you try to read the directions, and you do this thing. It's so uncommon for you that you'll go, and you'll be like, okay, I got it. I got my paper here. And then you'll go, and then you'll get your glasses, and then you're putting them on, and then you're moving the paper back and forth. The directions do slow you down. Yeah, yeah, but so it, you're going to need to learn with another. Is there if, another dishwasher that can yeah, show him what he, to do? If he shows me the ropes, I need a good hour of instruction of, like, this is how to work the dishwasher. Yeah. This is how Pull many this plates this lever. Coming. You put this crate of dishes yeah, here. And then, and then I need to you watch. Put the clean ones over here. Then I need to watch him do it. And so I could study what his like technique the, t- technique. T- yeah, the tiny yeah, technique. You can't wear like, sandals though. Because I'm like I'm you like can't wear sandals. You have to get yourself. That's, that's right. fine. That's fine. The non-slip yeah. shoes. Five thousand yeah. dollars. I'll put shoes on. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll put some uh, old greasy black Reeboks okay. <laughs> because that's what you wear. And you gotta wear pants. You're gonna be so hot. And you gotta wear a tiny little. You gotta wear a tiny little chili pepper koofy on your head, like a tiny little hat with chili peppers all over. And then I'm I'm watching like. He's bringing the dishes and like he's not. You don't have to wash them too much, but you have to get like the big stuff off and then put them in the washer. But they're doing boom, boom. I don't think I you're right. like, I, I'm still pretty in good with the Winter Park dishwashing mafia. So okay. I can, I'm telling you, I can set this up. There's, you also got to you're taking out the trash constantly. That's you fine. are uh, mopping up anything that possibly. Oh no wait, you don't wrong. like taking out the trash. I'm, I'm you're run, you you're running onto the hotline to get all the uh, screaming hot uh, sauté pans that, that they've just used. The, the thing about, I, I will never complain, and you yell at me to do something, I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> I've been like, I'll mop whatever you do. Like now. Is Are there more you, than one of these people doing this, though? It depends how big the restaurant is. No, yeah, you can, you, you can just be one of the people. There's usually, uh, you know, in, in a oh, busy restaurant. Dude, then you just delegate shit. Dude, get that, do that, do that, do that. <laughs> no, 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 I'll do the that's work. That's actually the funniest thing you've ever said on the show. Listen, oh, okay. Daniel knows <laughs> that's why I'm here. That's that's I like doing. hard work. I, I, he I does. Got, I got home from our RV trip, and I immediately started digging. Yeah. <laughs> like, after I all, love it. And then, yeah, but that's for your family and your home. That's not when you have to go deal with a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, but the $5,000 is going to And everybody buy. else is going to yeah. be in your way. But he wants his new one wheel, and this is a fast track to a brand new one wheel. Yeah, yeah, I'll do anything for money yeah. or the I, amount of money like, you know what I'm saying like anything well, until is, it happens yeah. I don't believe you and so I, but until you give me a task that is impossible like if Seth, if you told me fight Seth in the ring and if you beat him I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars I won't even try because I know that it's impossible for me to beat Seth but I know that you it's possible try. for me to wash some dishes for 12 now, hours now wait a minute this, it. this brings up something that I know we're, we're talking about the dishes thing but this I'm still going back to the you can't fold a crunch wrap <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Yeah. And we I honestly, because I think there is an element. You have to be able to close it completely without yeah. shit bursting out. Yeah, you can't have the lettuce spraying out the side of it like a butthole. <laughs> it's got to be a closed up, like, crunch wrap. Yeah. Well, are, like, the first ever time I do it, I'm probably going to have uh, a couple issues. But after the 20th time I do it, it'll be fine. Well, that's but, all I'm but, saying. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. But what has to happen then is we have to test it accurately with me coming up. Setting a timer, and then you under the, on the clock 
building the crunch wrap. You can't just be like, I just casually do it after your 20th time. You got to be on the clock under the pressure of building the crunch wrap. Well, I'm sure they go through training. I'm saying if I apply to Taco Bell, which I'm for sure can get a job because they need people. To There's one work. right here. What if we <laughs> all applied all, and didn't get jobs? No, they'll they, they'll give you the job. <laughs> they, I don't know. They will give anybody a job uh, because nobody wants that job. So if I apply to Taco Bell, they will train me to fold the crunch wrap. What would Crystal say? Because the chat room is asking. It can't be that hard. If we called Crystal right now and asked her, you know, the question, no hijinks, answer honestly, do you think Tom can, A, fold a crunch wrap and B, wash dishes in a busy restaurant? Will she have more confidence than your average listener or less confidence than your average listener? You, you'd be surprised, I think. I now, think she'd say you can do it. If you asked her, she's can, ride or die. Can I sign up to my Google email account or you know, like, yeah. like she knows what I can do. Yeah. Like, like, you know, she'll say no. But if she right. can fold oh, a crunch she'll, she'll be like, this R word could wash some dishes. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> That's I, what she's saying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I know he is dumb, and he'll just. Do stand you want to call her? Do you want to get a hold of her, Sam? Uh, yeah, she, I'm still waiting on Ross uh, to call. Yeah, us. yeah, well, he's running late. Yeah. Uh, let's do this. She has voicemail. zero confidence that I could do anything complicated. Let's do this voicemail here. Hey guys, this is Tim from Ohio, um, reporting from Tulsa, Oklahoma, at a gas station called Batman's, which can't be legal. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make a post on the uh, BDM Facebook page about this, uh, but I had to call in first and tell somebody this story. I went to the bathroom at this gas station and. Uh, there's a sign in the gas station that says, please don't stand on the toilet. Please sit on the toilet. We had to replace it more than three times last year, <laughs> which brings up a couple of questions. Like, first of all, like who, who the fuck is standing on the toilet? Um, and who's doing it? Like more than three times. They said more than three times. So I'm I'm guessing they replaced it four times. Right. <laughs> right. That's cool. yeah, more that's than four times. They <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny that this guy brings this up because we know someone yeah, personally. We do. That was at a gas station. Uh, they were. It was a road trip. He was coming back or whatever. And then he went into the gas station and to make uh, his friends laugh, he was doing an upper decker. In the gas station toilet. No, no, uh, it was not. Yeah, yeah it, wasn't, it wasn't. But it does it sound like something you would. <laughs> I mean, uh, would yeah. you? And um, in which he explained to us that he took the back of the toilet, that big porcelain rectangle, off. I've yeah. always wanted to hit somebody with that. <laughs> you know, the big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think heavy. Solid, man. Yeah, solid. it is solid. And then he put that on the actual toilet. Uh, oh, that's good. It's a stool. Yeah. Step, step <laughs> then he, and then he stepped on that and then yes. sat on the back of. <laughs> The, yeah. tank. the tank, yeah. right? And I don't think I can do this with everything falling into the the guts and the gears. And he was a bigger gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> he, was a, he was a biggie, as many yeah, 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 yeah. This uh, wasn't uh, a uh, you know, yeah, this awesome. daddy long neck. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is a, a big boy. This is a chunky. And the rectangle slipped out from yeah, under it. Oh, that sucks. Smashing on the floor, and the weight it smushed his ass into <laughs> the that thin. It's about yeah. an inch thick porcelain, which cracked it yeah. and cut his. <laughs> Yeah, he shoved shit. a piece of broken porcelain into his. It's all probably dirty. Into it's this all muscle, you know, here, it, this big fat gluteus, and gluteus. it sliced that shit open. It also broke the back of the toilet off, spilling with, water, which caused the water to yeah. shoot to the ceiling. <laughs> like, yeah. and I'm guessing it was also turds and sh water going into <laughs> it. Because, right, he's shitting. Yeah. And uh, then the uh, employees heard the crash of the rectangle porcelain. I would have sued that place. And ran yeah. in, and his blood is gushing into the. And he's holding what? his butt ass. Uh, now yeah, it's, keep his ass from falling off. And then the, the employee's like, "What happened? What did you do?" And then he's I, like, "I don't know. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> like, like, I'm I not gonna." Oh, really? I would have been like, oh, <laughs> yeah, "No, he wrapped himself broke. up and he drove the fuck Are out you, of there." Were you trying to say like, "I should just sue you guys"? <laughs> <But> <laughs> then, no. he were, then he ran to his truck. And I then, like that you do something stupid, <laughs> cut your butt, and you're bleeding. You cover. You're like, "Fuck you!" He always what the hell? You have to do it to get away. Well, you have to do it to get away. No, you're gonna call the cops. You should just run. 
and shame. <laughs> but there are the people that just like, well, what are you looking at? Fuck anyway, yourself. So I imagine Fuck out! that if he did this, a lot of people do this. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not the only one who thought of it, which is weird because I, 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 I went to a dance competition last week and I didn't talk about this yet, but one of the urinals had a turd in it. <laughs> for, in the oh, men's room. So I'm like, so there was a board, there was a board dad or some dance yeah. competition. And all I could think of, I was like, either there was a dad that thought I would laugh at that or, <laughs> yeah, or, a, or a little kid, a little boy was about to poop his pants. They had to hold him into the urinal so he shit in the urinal. Uh, sometimes you poop in <laughs> But I'm like, God ah, damn, nothing is safe. Nobody nothing does that, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you don't have to poop in a napkin. Or, or, or you get on your hand then. You just poop in a napkin, you put it in the urinal. It's poop fun. in a napkin? How do you even Not do a napkin and a piece of toilet paper. You're in the bathroom. Do you stand over the napkin or do you put your hand back there and catch it? Put your hand back there and catch it. You catch it? Dude, that's an aggressive move. I don't think my arms are long enough to go back there. I'm like a T-Rex. The poop comes down about this far to my ass. I couldn't reach it. I don't. My arms aren't long enough. I'd shit into my fingernails. <laughs> why do you a have to, Why would you do that? Because it's funny. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> to me. Uh, to me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, I know the next person that goes there is going to go, oh. Yeah. I think we found another. And have this conversation and it makes me laugh. I think we found another person that can't fold a crunch wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, oh, we'll we also call in. We got some dump them out. What happened? Just so you know, there are a lot of people that toilet scenario uh i know some people from japan that have not seen a regular toilet before because they're used to sitting on the ground they'll stand on that thinking they have to stand on that so it's not always on purpose just so you know well hold on they're they not stand on the actual that's the case seat? in oklahoma okay they're they're not not oklahoma. Stop it, i'm going to get oh, the no. airport or if they, like, had they just got to america they're like i don't know how to <laughs> but once they got to oklahoma <laughs> they figured it out but you know it's like don't <laughs> yeah. don't stand like an owl on the goddamn <laughs> toilet bowl <laughs> <laughs> like, the shit owl. The way you i do don't it. even think i could do that i'm it's too like, high in the air it's like I, when i show you up India, i get dizzy up there i see the hole in the ground i don't know how to like i see the footprints on the hole and then i'm like i can put two and two together right can fold. <laughs> yeah, all right. Take a break. <laughs> the name of the band is Honey. The name of the song is Loser. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. 1-844-T-O-M-N-D-A-N. Show at TomandDan.com for last minute emails. We'll be right back. Happy 4th, everybody. I want to get out of my car in dead stop traffic. Oh, would it be so bad if I wrapped my Welcome back to Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. All right. So we got Ross on line two. Oh, we do. We he's, do. Uh, he's at a pyro spot. Live oh, from God. pyro spot. That's not him. <clears throat> Ross, live from pyro spot. What's going on, man? Hey, guys. Yes. I'm here at pyro spot in uh, what can only be described as the Hottest and sketchiest parking lot in Longwood. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're at the Longwood location. Uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm heading there after the show, Ross, uh, to pick my uh, fireworks up for my. Uh, uh, okay, hold on one second. Hey, hey guys, mark all the prices. Our time's coming. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him. Is is Craig there? So I could do that move where I I get a bunch of fireworks and then I, I pretend to get into the uh, the line to pay for them and then look at him. Huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. You're that fucking guy, Tom. You're that guy. You and know he, he is. And then he's like, nah, we got you. I'm like, oh, thank you. you don't have to do that. Yeah, like, I, I, I that's can like when me. you were waiting for that fish sandwich. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> and then I, pull, I go for my wallet. And I'm like, ah, Never had his wallet. But if you made me pay, I'm like, you make fun of me at Fairville. Fair <laughs> Fuck. Huh? You make fun of me for Fairville. Fair the only thing that's worse is if you looked at me with your little baby face and asked me for a military fucking discount, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> well, he will. <laughs> no, He's been doing stolen gonna... valor lately. No, I just stand there and look. I don't do any of the, I don't ask anybody. I will never ask Craig, like, hey, get it. But you'll stand there all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just stand there. <laughs> He'll literally stand there for five, six hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then if it doesn't go, I'll just uh, yeah, sneak Sir, you away. need to leave. Um, but do we, uh, I'll play, tell you what huh? I can do. Uh, bye bye fingers cups for Tom and Tommy and Max, and uh, Max can have a pair of sunglasses, not Tommy. <laughs> okay, that's so fine. Do we want to play the intro because it's just going to be long? And okay. I don't want to waste his time because I right. know he's working. So uh, just uh, here, here's Ross's intro. <laughs> eh, there you go. So uh, tell us about your confrontation of the week, Ross. Oh boy, you guys, it's been a week full of confrontation. It's been a lot of you know pleasant, uh, positive customer service too, but um, yeah, a lot of confrontations. Uh, I'm I'm the guy. I don't know if you've, if you've been to Longwood uh, Pirate Spot. You know that we're set up in a big lots parking lot, and mm -hmm. like basically, we take up parking spots and I don't know a quarter 
of the drivable driveways in the in the parking lot. So um, there's a lot of people parking in front of our tent in what is now a driving spot, and I am the guy that everybody looks to to go tell those people to fuck off. Because oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I know because of the way Pyrospot sets up their tent, it does make the area that you could drive into the parking spaces smaller. So if and if you park Are you there, blaming this on Pyrus Pond? No, no, I'm saying I'm blaming it on people that don't have the ability to notice they're blocking the entire area, right? Because like people are oblivious, so they pull up and park. Inconsiderate, and then uh, I think it's more like if they knew they were being inconsiderate, they would do something. It's just they just uh, get out, park here. They're on autopilot. Everybody's on autopilot. They're just walking around, oblivious to what's going on around <laughs> yeah, them. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, it's dumb people like me. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> like, yeah, crunch rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crunch rappers. It's crunch rappers. It's people that think you can't wash dishes. <laughs> 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 The uh the anyway so so you are now the I guess the marshal or the warden yeah I'm the fuck off warden yeah. and uh and ninety nine times out of a hundred they just move and uh, one guy like went to move and then just drove away like fuck you I'll get my five hours of sky king whatever go pay sky king prices asshole yeah. um uh, so a guy pulled up a guy pulled up the other day and I went and I said hey sir I'm sorry you can't park here that's the driveway for our tent and uh he goes he rolls he goes what are you gonna do. Call the cops. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> um, you're challenging my authority. You yeah, yeah, and you're the marshal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so and also, I don't know if you guys have seen Ross lately, but he's lean and mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is what he's faster. Yeah, he's, he is faster. faster. Like, have you seen him lately? Like, no, he's I like he's him. all clean shaven, and I swear to God, Skin. he's ready to Skin. kick bring some a scale, ass. Bring a scale to the tent, Tom. We'll do that way off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is lean and mean. This is what uh, Ross likes to call finding another Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Ross on Ross. <laughs> Ross on Ross Crime. Every once in a while, well, you find another Ross who's yeah. not going to take it's like their the, shit. The Rick and Morty, uh, the duplicates. Uh. We do a fist bump and we say hard wire to be a dick simultaneously. <laughs> yeah. So, so this guy is challenging you. He now has doubled down a little bit and said, "Yeah, what are you going to do? Call the cops." So, what do you do? And like, this is a good challenge too because I have no interest in getting involved with the cops. Uh, the, this guy, you know, he's gonna get his fucking fireworks and be gone before the cops even get there. The, I, I literally have no power in this scenario. Uh, all I could think of was I said, "Well, are you coming in the fireworks tent?" And he's like, "Yeah." And I said, "Well, I could tell the cashiers not to ring you out." <laughs> Power move. Oh, I like that. Yeah, but so you're hurting the business. <laughs> Good job. Wait, 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 wait. Seth, in Another Ross's defense, I don't have. Yeah, <laughs> in, but also in Ross's defense, it is beyond Pyro Spot at this point. He needs to win this. Uh, <laughs> I, know, I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm on Ross's side because I feel like this too. Sometimes you get a fire in your chest and it's like, you know what? It doesn't matter if you're Even you Craig will understand that I need to yeah, win yeah. this. This yeah. is for me. Yeah, yeah. And also, Pyro Spot's prices are too good. Yeah. What they offer yeah. too good. It's uh, fine. Uh, the, There'll be another one like you, sir. <laughs> head on down the road. Like, like Ross said, go to Sky King. If you want it, if you hate money, then yeah, get on yeah, down yeah, the road. Yeah. Um, so what did he say, Ross? Craig, by the way, maybe got in a shouting match with a hobo this week, but that's his confrontation <laughs> calling about. That's his confrontation <laughs> calling about. So, uh, yeah, and again, I, I do not have the power to tell the cashiers anything. If they will ignore me, if I don't have to do anything, so this is a completely, this is a completely powerless threat. I have no uh, way of backing this up, but it did work. The guy pulled away and he came and he bought fireworks. Yeah, yeah. all right. Uh, what is it about people that like? Why would you ever say, "What are you going to do about it"? Like, what? I've never said that because. <clears throat> There's only maybe to Andrea. It's a win or lose <laughs> scenario for you, and I guess that's why they do it. Is because <laughs> wait, yeah. what's the other option? <laughs> well, I don't, don't know. you draw? want to win, well, lose, or draw? Like I like the draw. <laughs> like, you I like, are a draw guy. I, <laughs> like, I like leaving it open to get get out of the situation, right? I don't like it. Well, you don't like closing absolutes. it. You just like leaving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You leave it open to see what happens. So, like, don't say what are you going to do about it because either they're going to do something, and when they do, <laughs> it's going to be bad for you. Or you won the argument at that point, but you do push the person to lean towards doing now, something one about of the it, right? That they get mad. They're not like, oh, um, I get nothing. One of the things that you do that I'd like to hear Ross's take on is that, so in this scenario, had it been you, this guy says, what are you going to do about it? And then you say, and you do this a lot. You do it on the show. You'll go, 
Oh, you'll find out what I'm going to do about it. Which, <laughs> so it's what? An empty threat. <laughs> yeah. So Ross, how do you feel about the? Well, you you'll find out. Like, well, how, is that approved? Because that is kind of leaving it open, right? Yeah, yeah. I, no, I'm a firm believer in state uh, state exactly what you will do and then back it up, and, or you have no leg to stand on. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about enough. the bank? Well, I would say to the person, like, come on, man, you're blocking everybody. Oh, that's the, out, hey, you're just like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I try to. Oh, like, come on, why are you busting yeah, my balls? Yeah, you're yeah, backing yeah. down at that like, point. I'm just, yeah, you're <laughs> pussy at that point. You're you're if you do that to me, I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought, you fucking crunch rapper. Yeah, yeah but I don't like. I will <laughs> uh, play that part just to get the person to move because that's all I want at the end of the day. Like the person to move. I'm working for the company. I'm trying to help the company. We like, start crying. Like, yeah, fake because, crying. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just be like, come, come on, man, please. No, no, yeah, lose my job, man. You're blocking the area. Can you just park somewhere else? It's either this or rapping crunch rap. <laughs> I can't, I can't do the other one. You know, like uh, hey Ross, we determined today that uh, Tom's too stupid to fold a crunch wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I I provisionally back that. <laughs> See? Oh no, yeah, Ross! No, agrees. hey, hold on. I, I don't think I can either, though. Just to be honest, like I said Ro- during the break, there's absolutely no way I can fold a crunch wrap. Not not on sight unseen. Ross, do you think I could work at a restaurant, a busy restaurant, and wash dishes for two? Uh, no. no. <laughs> hold on, I didn't finish. <laughs> no. no. The I mean, there's, no. there's a money bet involved. Like, yeah. uh, do you think I could physically Power do it? Power through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like I'm hard-headed he enough can to stubborn, try to... You can stubborn through it. Yeah, I've done a lot of ridiculous bets in my life uh, and put myself in scenarios that I didn't want to do. Correct. Most of every... My whole radio career is just one long bet. Yeah, but you, you know, you're comfortable now, though. And you're, li- yeah, you're comfortable now. You're oh, soft you think I'm now. soft now? Yeah, oh, I'll soft. show you. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. He's fucking doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Come out to Pirate Spot Longwood. Let's get here at like five o'clock, Tom, and I guarantee you will not be able to last until close. <laughs> Hold on, no, no you yeah, can't sell fire. No, he's too hot. Oh, now you think I can't lift? You hate I can heat. lift, hold, I'm, and fold. Uh, Hold on. I'm Would not you? bragging. I'm not bragging here, but I have 12 and 15 year old children under my command who could outwork you. No, oh, go on. on. You hate the heat, man. <laughs> I've never seen somebody complain more about the heat than you. Every text I got from him on vacation, it wasn't hi, how you doing? How's Maisie? How's Dancy? It was it's hot. Sure is hot. I had to stand under a tent with him for six hours outside. How many times did you say it was hot? <laughs> oh, he was melting. You hate the hot. <laughs> well, that's just like now, he was stealing all the um, you, you focused immediately on the lifting of it all, and then not that that's not a bitch, but here's where you would fall apart. You would, uh, I'd point you to like, uh, you'd, I'd say, go stock um, Suicide Squad, and you'd be like, you'd cut a box open, you'd be pricing it, and then as you're doing that. Six different people are going to approach you from six, six different angles and ask you about the 200 gram cakes, the 500 gram cakes, an assortment, some fucking sparklers, and you would not be able to handle the customer service at talking to people and guiding them through. Yeah, you already said uh, you don't like purchases. that part. <laughs> I mean, you're sliding. Right. Really. You already said you don't like that part. I like how like, uh, I, I can't put some boxes on a shelf and tell some people where the sparklers are. Yeah, you can't. How, <laughs> how little confidence does everybody have in me? <laughs> if you knew, <laughs> you if can't do the crunch wrap, you can't wash you dishes, knew, you can't put boxes on a shelf. If you knew how little confidence we have in you, you'd kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you were literally made for mumble mouth talking into a microphone and nothing else. Yeah. 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 Shots fired. Yeah, me too. Hey, uh, hold on. Uh, hey, I'm right there with you. <laughs> the only, hold on. The only, right. the only, you difference, the only yeah. difference is they tell me that and I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> uh, I, uh, it, but if, if I push any harder, I'm going to end up <laughs> washing dishes at some sort of competition Correct. and then I'm like a back where I started. <laughs> 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 Who's the joke on? It is. It is. Uh, uh, like Bill Gates, uh, he's back in the factory building the computer. So exactly. <laughs> He'll never do it. Hey, Ross, how uh, which location, if people wanted to head out there and get fireworks, which location can people find you at? I'll be at Longwood pretty much all day, every day, until we fucking box this tent up. Oh. Dig it, man. Uh, are you going to do... do uh, we, go ahead. We don't have time for... Uh, do we have time for the Sonic Burger confrontation that I tease in the BDM group? Yeah. Or do you want to that for next time? Yeah, boy, whatever you want to do, man. I mean, yeah, sure. Hold on. What's the Sonic uh, Burger competition? Confrontation. Uh, confrontation. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I was like, can we eat burger competition? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, working up here in Longwood, I don't really live around the Sonic, but I fucking love Sonic, dude. And so, come into the tent the other day, drive fast Sonic, and I'm like, hey, you know what? Lunchtime, I'm going to go get me a Sonic burger. Yeah, that sounds fucking yourself. good. Yeah. Uh, me and my kids that day, we're working right now. We're setting up the tent, 
hot, dirty, sweaty. Lunchtime comes. I'm like, get in the car, guy. We're going to Sonic. Go to Sonic. <clears throat> Pull in. Ordered the little box. Uh, fucking bacon double cheeseburger. Yeah. My guy gets a goddamn cheesecake milkshake yes. and a bacon double cheeseburger. We're like, we're jazzed. We're, we're ready for the some Sonic. The cheesecake milkshake's good. It's real good. I would have no idea. You're about to find out. Oh. Um, so, <laughs> so I go to use the restroom. And uh, I'm Dan, I'm sure you know, if you're not familiar with Sonic, it's all, you sit in your car, you yes. eat, and so the restroom is just a door against the wall yep. of a building. And you got to stand uh, on and the this, toilet. <laughs> and this Sonic, it's a blue door. It's labeled restroom. It says restroom right on there. And I go over to the door. I, uh, I, I grab the handle. I pull, and it's locked. And there's no lock on the outside, so in my head I determined that there must be somebody in there using the restroom. All right. I wait. I wait a little while. The, um, the car hop, the lady that delivers the burgers, she comes out and back to cars like five or six times while I'm waiting. And so, like, eventually I go, I knock on the door, I don't hear anything. And so the next time the car hop comes out, I, I, after she delivers her burgers, I approach her and I say, hey, what's the deal with the bathroom? <laughs> she goes, what do you mean? And I was like, I was just, uh, I just, I was waiting for a little bit, and then I knocked, and I, uh, nobody answered. So I don't think there's anybody in there, but it's locked. And so, <laughs> when I when I tell you that what she said next was confusing, like I couldn't even tell you what she said. It was so fucking confusing. It wasn't about the bathroom door. It wasn't about why it was locked or not. It was, it was. I didn't even like really register what she was saying. And then so again, I was like, yeah. So the bathroom, it's locked, and I can't get in. Yeah. And then, and then, so there's another door. She starts talking about the blue. So that blue door serves for um, employees only. No customers can get in that door. It's not even technically part of our building. And I'm like, what, that door? <laughs> and I'm talking about the restroom. Yeah. And then another answer that just made absolutely no sense. Like, I'm, at this point, she, she answers, and I wait through her, like, two minutes. I couldn't even tell you what it was about. It was so confusing. It was, so, it was not about the bathroom door. Yeah. And so it, at the end of this, I'm so confused. I just, I point at the bathroom door, and I go, is that the bathroom for Sonic Burger? And she says, yes. And I go, can you please unlock it? Oh, no. And again, we're like, we're like six minutes in at this point. Oh, that's a long time. I, I go, can you please unlock it? And she goes, that's all you had to say. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. So Did it, I was blowing little... your bandana off, right? <laughs> like you're mad. <laughs> yeah. I, I was... I, I didn't, I didn't even know what to do. I was hot. I didn't know what to do. So she walked away to go in to presumably unlock the bathroom. And, like, as she walked away, just to myself, like, kind of kind of flustered, I just go, fucking ridiculous. Like, oh, no. I do that sometimes. Yeah. No, yeah. The old she underbar- heard me. Yeah. She heard me. She pops out of that little um, sonic door that only they can go into. And she goes, now I'm not unlocking the bathroom. Oh, oh, you said it was just pissing your that's pants. A, that's <laughs> her problem. Yeah. Yeah. She's, She's utilizing her power Now you gotta move. piss your pants. <laughs> and more importantly, like, my hands are covered in fucking gunpowder and rat shit and dust. Like, I need to wash my hands before getting a fucking Sonic burger, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your hands... I cannot eat my Sonic like an animal. <laughs> Why are your, your hands covered you, in gunpowder? Uh, but, but is this the lady that's also making your... It's your, female Ross. <laughs> you and your son's burgers? Because, you know... We'll talk about that in a second. Oh, uh, no. And my hands are covered in rash and dust because I'm working in a tent all day, Tom. I'm working at the fire oh, tent all day. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so... And uh, so she pops out. She's like, I'm not unlocking the bathroom door for you. And I'd like, I'd wait my options for a couple seconds. And uh, they, I've already paid. They got my money. So, like, I just pop my head in that little door that oh, you're no. not supposed to go into it, Sonic. And I go, I had, I had gotten her name during the initial confrontation, oh, no. uh, like, right after she uh, said, you know, or the bathroom. Ba- and so I pop my head in the door. And I was like, I need to speak to Alana's manager, please. And uh, Alana is already, like... Yelling at this poor lady over the other corner. Alana turns around and yells at me, I'm talking to her! And so I was like, whenever you're done, and I just I walk back outside. This is when white so. old white men throw the cash <laughs> register, right? <laughs> and, like on the McDonald's videos. <laughs> yeah, I've seen yeah. these, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the manager comes out through the bathroom door. Yes, <laughs> the manager was in the bathroom. <laughs> that, was a sw- that was a swerve. I didn't Switch expect that. Switch your room. Holy shit. I'm taking is- a shit. God, this is I've like- been taking a shit for 10 minutes listening <laughs> to this. Yeah, this is like the final uh, episode of Ozark. <laughs> the manager comes out 
the bathroom door and I was like, Hey, how's it going? And she's like, Fine and I'm like, uh yeah, I was just I just had a really weird conversation with Alana about opening the bathroom door and she's like, Yeah, she kinda caught me up and like so I told her what happened. And uh, this is funny. Uh, so I'm like, I'm disgusting. Uh, I'm hot and sweaty and, you know, red-faced, I'm sure. And uh, the mixer comes out, and we're talking, and we're standing, like, I don't know, a foot and a half away from each other, and she starts, like, waving her hand in front of her face and, like, stepping back, and I'm like, oh, sorry, I've been working in the tent all day. It was just flies at the Sonic Burger. That's all it was. But um, so we're talking for a second, and uh, we get to the point where I go, like, to the manager, I go, let me just ask you, if I if you walked out and I said to you, hey, what's the deal with the bathroom? And you didn't know what I was talking about. And I said, the bathroom door's locked. I knocked. There's nobody in there. What would you say? And she said, I would say, let me go unlock that for you, sir. And I was like, okay. So I think this is where we're at. And so right about when we get to that point, I said something to the manager. Like, uh, I said, uh, I did say fucking ridiculous. And, and your, your car hop, Elena, overheard me. I'm sorry for that. And Elena, I now notice, she yells at me from my car. She yells at me from my car, like... She's in your car. <laughs> <laughs> if you're, if you're in your apologize, car. Store's getting more if you're apologizing, why are you saying it again? Something like that. She, like, re-engages me from the car, and, like, I start to talk back to her, but oh. then I realize, I realize she's just been to my car, which means she's dropped off the food, and I've been talking to the manager now for a couple minutes, which means she's just dropped off food that she's been alone with inside the Sonic Burger for a long time, unattended. Oh, yeah, my God. You get and back to your car and it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head in a box. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. So, like, uh, I was about to say something, and then I go, No! <laughs> and I, like, no! I realize, I realize what's happening. I scream no, and I run to my car, and I my, my son has just put the, um, the no. fucking straw in his milkshake. <laughs> and I, like, smack it out of his hands. I'm like, no, don't that! <laughs> Daddy and, uh, cops cubes the in there. <laughs> <laughs> I get the milkshake. I get the bag of food. I go back to the manager. And I'm like, uh, yeah. At this point, I just I can't trust this food. You know. You said that. Uh, you're gonna have to. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. I'm not. I'm not gonna. It's like fucking thirty dollars worth of hamburgers. Yeah, I'm, I'm no. not. I'm, I'm not about to eat it, and I'm not about to fucking eat the cost of it either. Fuck that. Yeah. No, I get it, but I could not. I don't think I could go through with all of this. This is an advanced. Uh, this is advanced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so, a long conversation. So, yeah. When the door's locked, I just go back to my car. Yeah, that's so, it. The door's locked. Yeah, they'll, this is going a very long way. Uh, I go. I, I I like. I go. I can't. I, I can't trust this. You're gonna have to um, refund me for this food. And I like hold it out to her, and she goes. The manager goes. You can just throw it away. <laughs> and I like, I like look at her for one second. I give her like a one second look and she looks at me and she just grabs it out of my hands, goes, throws it away, refunds my money. And, uh, and I did, I did do this move, which I'm not uh, proud of. I did say, Hey, listen, I'm going to find out, um, whatever the best way to complain to you guys online is Twitter or Facebook or whatever, online call or whatever. I'm doing it tonight. And, uh, fucking nine, you know, I'll get home at 10 o'clock. I'm too tired to do that shit. Well, also, uh, Ross, no one, I'm sure no, even the manager, they're like, we, I hate this job. <laughs> He's I'm right. Like, I He's hate this right. job. I hate this company. I hate what I'm doing right now. I hate you. <laughs> yes, yeah. And I, I even hate care. the fact that I came in this hamburger. <laughs> I hate that too. And then if you complain, guess what? No one cares because I can't find any employees Ooh, to Tom, do this horrible who's job. Who's complaining though? I just wanted to wash my fucking hands before I ate a hamburger that I bought at this place. No, I know. Just, uh, I assume that all these places are on the brink of going out of business, and like, and all the employees, everybody there, uh, yeah. doesn't care. No, and it's a miracle that you could still get anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, like every time you it's just amazing get, there were people like, oh still my, there doing things. Like every time you get tacos at Taco Bell, you should be like, oh my god! It happened. <laughs> Thank I can't you, Taco believe God. Yeah. I got this many tacos for this cheap. It's crazy. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, uh, all right, Ross. Now, now, the, the, the sad follow-up is that I did not get my Skeletor spoon at Sonic Burger. And also, uh, I was coming in to work the next day, coming past Sonic Burger, and the sign, uh, I can't say, I can't swear to 100%, it didn't say this yesterday, the day before, but uh, on the way in, the next day, the sign did say, now hiring. Oh, no. Oh, oh, course, they yeah. all say yeah. now. Yeah. 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 That's been there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't take that out down. <laughs> that girl probably got a promotion. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's possible. Sorry. So, Ross, uh, I'll see you later. I'm going to head by after the show. I'll be at the tent. Uh, uh, who's on Tots with Ross this week? 
Uh, we still, we're, you know, Mickey and Jackie just moved. I'm getting a little uh, time off to get their shit together, get their house all nice. in order, literally. Yeah, and then that. we'll get a fresh tots for you. We still got the one with Bus Decker. Uh, really good. Uh, talk about all his uh, projects and uh, being a snitch for the cops. And then uh, that one with the Keem Woods uh, is the one previous to that. Also real good. Love it. Well, hey, man, uh, stay cool out there. Tom will be there uh, a little bit later with all of his money. Jack up the prices, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, come find me. I'll give you the uh, Battle Life discount, Tom. All right, man. See you, buddy. That is Ross McCoy. McCoy, not McCall. <laughs> so, um, from Pyro Spot Longwood. It just dawned on me that uh, I this have... This crunch wrap thing's really hurting you, right? <laughs> I think uh, from the time I've spent talking about uh, my mistakes in, over the past decade, I've done a horrible uh, disservice to my reputation. <laughs> but to the point where no one thinks People I can do it. People don't trust you with a <laughs> They can't. They, yeah. they think I can literally yeah. do nothing. Not even the simplest task. Well, no. It, like, see, I think the crunch wrap, I don't think that's a simple task. I mean, if the people working at Taco Bell are doing it, it's a simple task. Are we doing Taco Bell? <laughs> right? I think do- that's what no, the guy no. meant when you said you were calling them the R word, by the way. When you say comments like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, that, you, well, if they can do it, I can do it. Well, you think that's it, an insult. But if you work at a fast like, food I'm job. I'm telling you, it, I don't think I can do it. Like, I it don't, is hard. I do not think I can fold a crunch wrap and, and put it. And have it do it fast, yeah, fast, fast. I just fast, don't and have people screaming I, at you I, nonstop. I'm not saying that because I think I'm an idiot. I'm saying right. that because I think it's something I don't have the knowledge of doing. And here's why I don't think you can do it. You're not a detail guy when it comes to, like, that sort of thing. Well, neither are the employees that talk about. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I'm saying that but it's all uh, they I'm at have. least equal to the employees that talk about if they could do it, I could do it. I don't think they have the mental block that you're going to have when it comes to doing it. Because well, I mean, you're already telling yourself, like, there's already, like, like you're already, the program for you folding a crunch wrap is already, it's already got a virus. <laughs> no, well, just you know, like, they're, they're coming I'll in do with it. fresh new eyes. They'll go there. We'll teach them. There's no bad habits. They'll do the crunch wrap. Like, you, you're already coming in with, like, oh, I can do it. I'm the best. I'm the best. Better than ever. Arms never. never. I'm know. not saying the best at it, but I'm saying if they taught me how to do it, I could do I, Everybody here could do it. And then if we anybody put Anybody here you, could do it. And if we <laughs> like, put you. All of our I think you're missing what we're saying. It's not that we don't think you can make a crunch wrap One or time. a burrito. Yes. The thing is working a full shift, learning how to do all of it properly. And do it well. And do it well. And do it fast. While you're having both customers and your coworkers scream in yeah. your fucking ears at all times, it's hard. I've seen fast food employees. Yeah, I can do a better job. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm sure you can do Again, it. Again, we'll believe it when we see it. it. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, okay. I don't believe I, it. It's the end of the show. Seth's like just agreeing with you so he gets his hundred dollars. <laughs> I know how this works. I know how this fucking show works. Uh, I've been well, on the show. I, I agree with them the whole time. I think. Uh, but are, the, all you guys are better than fast food employees, right? Well, I'm not. I've I don't worked like, in like, fast food. No, you're you're a chef. I've never worked. You're better than a fast food. You're better. These guys are strangers. I've never worked in food service. I have never had one one job. Food fast food, food employees. Yeah, but I don't think I can do no it. All of us can do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't know. Seth knows. He's a dickhead like me. <laughs> he was <laughs> fucking up smoothies. No, yeah, well, I, I did that because I didn't care. <laughs> well, they, they don't care. No one it. cares. I don't yeah. think you'll care. Yeah, of course. I <laughs> Why would I? If anything, I added more <laughs> good stuff to it. I added more, oh, this guy needs more protein. I'm going to put more protein in his. Well, you're not giving him what he wanted. Spirulina. Extra spirulina for you. What's spirulina? That's some green powder. It makes you like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that Kratom? Spirulina. <laughs> yeah, spirulina. Uh, <laughs> look up spirulina, Sam. Ooh, I don't know yeah, I've never heard green, of that. It's a green powder. It's like, yeah, it's good for yeah, you. Yeah, I've it's heard a lot of Kratom. Of <laughs> <laughs> is it like Kratom? No, it's not like Kratom. It's, <laughs> oh, okay. it's a fucking healthy... It's a blue-green algae there you go. with you. strong antioxidant effects. Yeah, uh, just add way more in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, so I like the color of terms of smoothie. I said fake. <laughs> 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 All right, let's uh, get out of here. Let's get um, out of here. Uh, Sam, let's plug some things. Uh, you got some uh, semantics this weekend? Yeah, uh, yeah. so tomorrow, Saturday morning, we're going to be out at Barber Park for a skate meetup. Uh, just meet us out at the outside hockey rink. Um, and then Sunday, I'll be recording You Heard About This One with Derek, and we're going to be covering UFOs. Um, I love it. Seth, uh, let's talk mm-hmm. about uh, the jungle and yes. your dojo. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Well, how do you no, sign no, it's, it's going great. No, everything's going great. Everything's good. Uh, JungleOrlando.com uh, or KarateOfOrlando.com is the website. Um, yeah. And don't people out there, don't light so many fireworks off of 4th of July. Let's just enjoy like the peace and quiet a little bit. Tom's going to the fireworks <laughs> tent. Yeah, I know. I know. But, <laughs> hey, my what? dogs get so Our scared. Our sponsor is a fireworks <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll get you Buy it and then... You, 
Don't go shoot it somewhere else. Give your dogs yeah, okay. the um. My dog. It's I one give night. my dog. It's so bad. You man. give them shake and they drool and <laughs> get the pills. <laughs> I <laughs> give them pills. Take his uh, CBD gummies you gotta that his get doctor your, gave him. Yeah. Did you listen to the first segment? Take your dog. Get a medical marijuana license with a the dog. <laughs> yeah. They'll approve him. They don't care. <laughs> you the first I segment? can literally sit him with a hat and pretend <laughs> yeah. it's me. <laughs> He'll be fine. Yeah. Like, sir, your breath is a little stinky. Juan, you got anything to plug? Uh, I got nothing. Uh, to no, oh. uh, Twitch. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We should. Uh, we didn't talk about this but you can subscribe mobily now yes. on Twitch which yes. they you had to go on your desktop let's go so now when you watch the show through uh your smartphone you can actually subscribe uh through that yeah. uh, so it's a lot easier and that helps us listen uh Jeff Bezos pays us a uh, uh, monthly fee as long as you have uh prime so Indeed. Uh, let's that is true. get that Bezos money he's got enough there we go <laughs> uh, Here we go. <laughs> um, let's see. I, I don't think there's anything else to plug. We're working on the new baseball inspired uh, stuff. Oh, go out to Hourglass on Sunday, July 3rd yep. for the belly flop contest. You can win SmackDown tickets. Yeah, SmackDown tickets, a bar tab, and something else. There was like one other I thing. I believe there. food, right? Yeah, it's food, like food, beers, yeah. and SmackDown Beer tickets. And SmackDown tickets. Uh, speaking of the uh, baseball logo that Danger Brain did, if you're looking for branding work, uh, thedangerbrain.com. Uh, and uh, they have done all our branding. Um, obviously, Gringos, uh, Gabriel Plants, BC Racing, um, to name a few. And they're a great branding agency, and they can help you with the marketing as well. It's thedangerbrain.com. Yep. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and bye bye.